Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> hope your internet's doing well. I hope so too. Uh, I did run a bunch of tests periodically uh, since the incident and didn't have any further massive drops in uploads, so hopefully we've seen the end of it. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, where were we? I remember we were coming back here for something. Um, crap, I should have kept my little to-do list. Uh, I know I wanted to update a bunch of trains. I need to make a new set of trains, LTN trains for downstairs. Uh, where's our, where's our little taxi here? He's busy. Hmm, I think I'll borrow the construction train in that case. Boom, James. Ne Neopus, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Vintimars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The chat is way too narrow. I need to fix that. That's a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Down the elevator. Uh, and let's go make some new trains. But first, uh, since I'm here, don't land where we can get squished. Uh, let's, uh, insofar as we haven't already, add some... Oh. Well, I guess that'll have to do for the moment. Um, maybe they don't need three batteries... Oh, this one's already... this one's already done. So I guess... Two batteries each end? Oh, yeah, that, that'll... That's better than nothing, that's probably more than enough, actually. I'm going to go... Torture some Among Us streamers. Uh-oh. In a fun way. Uh... Is this a sometimes the fun has you kind of way? Or what? Alright, first things first. Uh, I want to make a bunch of new fancy LTN trains. Do I have a blueprint for these? I would have thought so, but... Well, I can just use this one and change the recipe, I guess. I mean, by recipe, I mean schedule, which is literally just send it to an LTN depot, which seems to be what this is. I might need to make another depot at some point, I'm not sure. We've got so many trains active right now that I can't really get a feel for how many parking spaces we have if things quiet down. But this is fine for the moment, I guess. I may as well request more than just these here. Um we did it we got a dupa doop, but it's it's yet another moon. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen moons in a row. Uh and half of that was specific zone discovery and half of it was just give me whatever. Ravna. Alright, so here we have everything we need to make some new trains. And... That's one. I said I wanted to do ten, right? If I just send it to the depot, that will actually reset its schedule. Oh, it's going to the nearest one. Even better. Once it actually gets here, LTN will just reset its schedule, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, although, I probably should have... 
Oh well, I'll do it next time. I want to update the um, the schedule on this thing. What's this station called? Depot 2 and nothing else. There we go. And it doesn't actually need like a condition because LTN will grab it. Why do we have burner inserters here? <laughs> oh, because that was using solid rocket fuel what i i think we can spare the electricity to have some fancy regular inserters perhaps um although these these two inserters are inactive almost all of the time so i guess that is actually technically a waste whatever it's probably fine uh, let me just bring this chest down to where we use it. There we go. What do we find? Another moon? I should probably check. Naden uh, is not so shockingly close that we might actually use it. Te Techni? Techne? Techne? Who knows? Also very far away... Jakiro, I think we probably looked at already. Uh, it's also too far away for the possibility of considering using a moon in the late game. Let's find some more stuff. And give me all of this, please. Um, that seems fine for now. Okay. Engines, solar power, and batteries. Engines, solar power, and batteries. And then, uh, update that blueprint. Select new contents. And I think I'll just get rid of the the rail. Trains and... I guess I could include train fuel, actually. That's a lot of charged packs, though. I'd rather have the bots just deliver the bare minimum of uh, train fuel. Well, a bit more than the bare minimum. Let's say one stack... What? Stop, stop that. One stack for each. Or even just far more than enough to get it to a depot. Or make a couple of deliveries. Okay. Once more with feeling. Select new contents. Remove the rails. Remove the black reinforced plate. Um, just trains and train fuel, yeah. LTN space cargo. Perfect. Or I could just say space cargo. LTN default schedule. Cool, cool, cool. And I think I should... Illustrate that this is a double cargo wagon train with the icon. While we're at it, why don't I make another one of these? So that it'll be easy to add... Fluid wagons? Just in case we ever need to do that again. It never occurred to me the um, the space fluid wagons, or the fluid wagons in general, do have room for roboports and stuff. I don't think you could use the roboports because you need to have um, construction bots in the in the wagon. 
But you could put like shields and lasers on it, I guess. If you really wanted to. Now then. Um, create copy. Change it. And that's the wrong icon. Uh, and then select new contents. Oh, I could just say space fluid. Is that gonna... Oh, perfect. No tiles, no rail, and that's it. Cool, cool, cool. But we're looking for cargo wagons right now. We need another nine. Now, I'm 99% sure that, sadly, that is not going to include uh, the power armor stuff. So, let's do that ourselves. Fantastic. I hate to say it, but it was maybe just as well I had technical issues yesterday because I was a bit shocked at how tired I still was. There's more moons than planets? I suppose so. Speaking of which, oh, here we go. Research for the next one is almost finished. All right, we've got all of our stuff here. Fantastic. Eight to go into the depot with you. What do we find? Another moon? Have we found every planet? It's oil. It's really far away. It's a moon. We're not excited right now. Big Kev has left the chat. I should probably ratio this to be exactly what I need to put in one train so I can just click it, right? Uh, ten of these? It'll oversupply it a little bit, but it's fine. Fantastic. Now we're getting getting up ahead of steam. Seven to go. Not that we've calculated exactly how many trains we need. I just arbitrarily said we probably need like ten more trains. Because that's usually... Well, I don't think it'll actually take 10 trains to get everything... to, to, to remove the train bottleneck. Uh, it should be more than enough. Alright, off you go. Uh, I lost count. Do we need six more? It's probably going to be close enough. Oh, I need more of these. Fantastic. I love how easily we've got these batteries now. And off you go. Five more. Four more. Doop-a-doop, another moon. Uh, we also found an asteroid belt. That's weird, I don't remember seeing an asteroid belt. Did I miss a couple? I probably did. Tresden? 
uh, is pretty far away. Nevis is pretty far away. I think I looked at this one. Did I not look at Naden? Naden is pretty terrible as well. I think I do remember seeing 515 and Iridite. It would have to be a moon that we've failed to find in, like, one of the nearest solar systems for it to possibly be worthwhile. Alright, so three or four more of these. Off you go. And I should probably... How many batteries do we have? 121. That's 20 trains. Um, and we've probably only stopped there because I put a limit on it. Uh, I forget what limit I put on it. Batteries. 200. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, when we get to about 200, I'll... Trap the tr uh, trap the trains in the depots, so that I can be whoops, <laughs> so that I can be sure of upgrading them all. Just remove one of the signals at each quarter, so they can't leave. Oops. Doop a doop. It's a planet? No, it's not. It's sticks. Does this mean we've found every planet or something? Like, uh, what are the odds of this otherwise? That's 17 moons in a row at least. Most likely, yeah. So we're getting towards the end of having zones to discover, I imagine. Unless you count deep space zone discovery. Which, um... How many of those are there anyway? Like 20 or something? 30? I'm just taking a wild guess. Oh wait, Veldak would know. Yeah, how many did you say... How many zones did you say you went to... To get Arcospheres from? Like, you said all of them, right? Uh, I think I've gone over my quota. Let's just do one more. Uh, and I imagine we'll start seeing... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're already seeing trains parking in the depots. Which is not surprising, actually. This is how... Your labor throughput should be. Everyone should get a rest. Where's our... Electric engines. Oh, we're making more. Okay. So, I probably have a relatively small target for the advanced electric engines. Um, don't know. Oh, here it is. 70. That's not that small. Uh, let's see. 7 for each. So it should be, like, a theoretically it should be a bit more than double. Well, no, we're not, we're not replacing the, uh, electric engines in the trains that we've already got. 70 should be f more than enough. Advanced additional electric engine. We've found a raven. 
Never more. That's not very exciting. I will be kind of excited, in a sense, to to confirm that we've found all of the planets and moons. Because then we can really make an informed decision about where to put our endgame outposts. I actually really thought that there would be, like, at least one planet for each type of resource. Uh... That's as good as Vazanus. Really, really big radius, as uh, pretty much as close to the interstellar map as it gets. 7% solar. That's 7% threat as well. <laughs> have we finished clearing it yet? We have. Bombato is ours. Confirm hostile extinction. We did it, chat. My tech tree says it did 49 deep space zone, but last uh, returned no result. I have 45 deep space zones, asteroid fields. And I did 263 targeted and 273 normal zone discovery. Research will tell you when it can't discover more. Okay, cool. I also have some empty looking, empty looking solar systems. Well, yeah, I would expect some of them to be pretty, pretty empty, right? All right, uh, there are Bita Medias on Bombato, which we've got these cannons to deal with. So it'll say threat 1%, but, uh, but now we can actually trim the surface. Oh my god, it's big. Uh, yeah, now we can actually trim the surface and significantly reduce the size of our save file. This is not the only planet that we've got fully explored like this, but suffice to say, uh, this is a big one. Alright, here we go. Trim surface. It's probably going to take a little while. Oh, yeah. So I finally got to play uh, MechWarrior again after an auto-update broke every mod. Uh, two or three days later, gave it a try and it works. I crammed... I just, I just did some instant action and, like, crammed almost all the... OP clan tech I could into a catapult with uh, large lasers. Uh, and threw myself into what was supposed to be a challenging solo mission, but um, as it turns out, all the enemies had clan tech. So that was fun. This thing is still going. I imagine there's going to be a direct correlation with how long this takes and how much time we're going to save off of saving the game. I'm surprised it, ta I'm surprised it takes this long to remove chunks, actually. Like... What's it actually doing? Normally when you delete stuff, you just say, that's not there anymore. Okay, there we go. Let's see how long it takes to save now. Yeah, I, I, it's still going to be a little while. Like, uh, we're not going to see a green bar here for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. But it's going to be better than it was before. Yeah, that's still kind of big. Now this is not helping. 
But we are getting closer to clearing Nalvis. It will happen eventually. Oh, there we go. We have a save bar. And then... Hey, it's not 600 years anymore. It's only 400. Cool, cool, cool. Do we have any ships that are... What the fuck? Uh, wh wait, which number is this? Iron Hall is six. I, wh I sent, this is the one that I sent to Foe and Estra. How did it end up cruising back from here? Like, I th thought I would have to... I, I guess I forgot to check the memory cell. I think there was nothing on the memory cell. Why is it heading for Gibbel? Okay, we've still got plenty of fuel in this thing. I... I, uh, I kind of want to pay attention to it this time, but it's going to take a while. Spatial distortion... 100 out of 10,000. Um, so what, 1%? 2% now? I want to see exactly what it does when it gets to Foenestra. It's only this area. Somehow, somehow ships that get sent to Bombato sometimes decide they need to go directly to Gibil and not via Foenestra on the way back, but I, no! Oh, now we need to trim it again. Where, where's my... There it is. There's my spell evader. Okay. Trim surface. It'll only take a second this time. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the logic that sends the ships back... Where's the... Moon Orbit 1180 via Foenestra. That... That should be working. Uh, where's our Ship 6? Ion Hauler 6 is... 1800 out of 10k. I want to see exactly what it does at Foenestra. It should be... Sending itself to Bombato. This guy is headed for Foenestra. And has Moon Orbit 1180, I think, on the memory cell. It... These rare bugs are really, really getting annoying. Uh, those are also moons. Jo Joannes and Dolos. Oh, I haven't got... Joannes is uranium. It's probably pretty far away from Hagen orbit. Indeed it is. Dolos is also really far away. Uh, I really want to see the back of needing to scan for zones, though. Or at least planets and moons. Okay, Iron Hauler 6 is at 3.5k. Three point seven. I don't want to stare at it the entire time, but I really, really don't want to miss it. This train is ready to go. And I imagine by now... No? Huh. Oh, we've still got... Well, there are trains in motion, so it's hard to tell. This guy is having no issues, actually. It's just how long this takes. 
Why do we have such a big queue for Vulcanite Core Frag? Oh, because... That's why. I think... I shall not tell LTN what's in the big container here. Because I'm pretty sure the trains can keep up with it. Uh, even if I don't do that. And I don't want them queuing here. So we've sort of set train limit 1 here, only worse. I, I don't know why I ever connected it to this, actually. Factorio is the game where you are always both detective and murderer. If you're playing single player. Alright, we are at 5.6k. Um, but yeah, those are the... Not the only trains. What's with you? How did you get scheduled here if there's not enough to take away? Very strange. As long as they're not blocking any other trains, I guess it's fine. Uh, it wouldn't be fine as long as we didn't have more than enough trains, but it seems to be okay now. Uh, but yeah, every all the trains seem to generally be working okay now. Wait. Woot, Blue Lightning DT, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Good day to you too. Castor. Uh, it's a moon. That is quite far away, not interested. Welcome in, Twisty P. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, so what's next? And what should I do while we wait for like another 3,000 distance till that ship gets to Foenestra? I do want to get started on updating the trains and the depots. Is it really only the two? No, it's three depots I've got for the long trains. I think I'd rather make sure... Well, what's the maximum? 16, 17, 18... Uh, it's 18 trains, because these two are reserved for supply and removal of... Holy crap, that's a lot of destroyed power packs, actually. But we're waiting for an entire wagon full. Um... Uh, but yeah, 18 times 3, 54, uh, we need 324, significantly less than that, I'm not sure how much less, 324 of those new batteries to put in our trains. Here we go, 9,000 out of 10,000 spatial distortion. As soon as it gets here, it should set its destination to Bombato. And leave us even more confused as to why it was trying to fly to Gibil. Directly. From Bombato. With no core fragments. After I caught it out of fuel and sent it to Foenestra. And thought I would have to manually send it somewhere when it got to Foenestra, but I guess it had this on the memory cell. Oh wait, it's got moon orbit and planet orbit on it. Why is that? Oh, well there's your problem, I think. Uh, destination Bombato orbit? Hmm. Now I'm even more confused, but... I'll just clear the memory cell. It doesn't need a anchor target to land there. It'll get given a new destination once it lands. Murder, she wrote, indeed. Uh, 
wish I'd said that more articulately and less struggling with my voice and brain today. Okay. Um, so now that that's done, how many batteries do I have here? Over 120. Okay. Why don't I... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't I... No! God damn it. It's fine. I'll just do it now. I think just mar marking this for deconstruction uh, forces the change in pathing. Otherwise, doing something like this wouldn't cause a pause like that. Which, by the way, is nowhere near as severe as it used to be. Hmm. Don't tell me just having area explored can affect how long it takes to repath trains. I wonder why that would be. Anyway, um, let's go and update some of our trains. And I'm just going to leave them locked in here until we've done all three of the depots. I should probably park myself where my character can reach all of these. Also, uh, this bright white background displeases me. Let's make it... Oh, hello. Some of you are already in range. Cool, cool. Uh, let's park the concreting train over here. Now then, where was I? Unfortunately, it takes multiple clicks to check on each of these. But I'm pretty sure all of these are done. And then... doop doop We've got yet another moon. We did find another planet still. Morpheus. Alright, what do we got? Al Alberage? I'll save the best for last. Alright, here we go. Morpheus. It's about time we found Morpheus. Morpheus. It is incredibly underwhelming except for the fact that it's pretty close very close actually 20,000 uh yeah it's it's close enough that it's quicker to go directly than via Foenestra 4,000 radius with um we don't need planet orbits 4,000 radius with Mineral water core fragments. I guess... Uh, that doesn't beat Sage. Never mind. If we do ever want... If we do ever want mineral water core fragments, uh, we will be going here, actually. It's actually a little bit bigger. Maybe it goes system by system and checks for planets in the system, then all moons? I don't know. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Please tell me there is a Neo and Trinity as well. Uh, not to my knowledge. I, I don't think I ever saw one last playthrough. Alright, let's go clockwise. This one's fine. This one needs batteries. Batteries. This one's fine. Batteries. Batteries. And all good. Batteries for you. Batteries for you. Left side. 
I think I skipped one. I did, but it had batteries. Where's our floor? What? Uh, I was hoping... I was hoping because some of the bots were already in flight that... Oh. Oh, that would probably help. Yeah, if we were actually carrying the black refined plate, that would... That would probably be more effective than if we didn't. I hear a doop a doop. Alright, so these ones are all done, right? And I expect to see maybe Oh, let's grab this guy while we've while we can see him. Get your batteries in there. Um, I'm kind of expecting at least one or two of the depots to have some trains queuing outside of them. Once I lock all of the trains in. Could be wrong, though. It's not like I've counted how many LTN trains I've got. Where's our other depot? Here we go. Alright, start from the same place. But first... We've... Mm, I was going to say we've probably got enough reinforced plate, but... I think I've actually counted... Oh, uh, whatever. Let's just give it a go. Uh, wait for inactivity. 30 seconds. And we'll give it another trip if we have to. Batteries. Batteries. I keep thinking I see my bots jump out. A little bit weird. Asandanima, thank you very much for the eight months with Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. T-Hacks can afford stable internet now. I wish it was just a matter of paying for it. It'd be really cool if we got the things that we paid for. Whoops. Cool, so those ones are all done. Which one was that? Up here, I think. Oh, this is repetitive, but we're halfway there. Mostly. Of course, there'll be a few trains out and about, like the vanilla scheduled ones. Um, some of which are going to be harder to find. We're going to have to go back for more batteries. So we've got one, two, three, f uh, three actually, unless another train comes in. Three more to do over here. Yesterday might have been that line was interrupted somewhere and ISP was using slower backup connection. Um, it was kind of intermittent over like, I don't know, uh, half an hour, an hour or so. Uh, and then it was, as far as I know, totally fine after that. I... I I like ran a ran a speed test every like fifteen minutes to an hour, depending on when I was checking it uh, for a while. Didn't have any other problems after that, so hopefully we'll be okay. Is this all the 
big personal batteries we've got at this point? Why are we not trying to make more, even if we don't have materials or something? There's 94, apparently, but this, uh... Oh, I didn't request enough, that's why. Okay, um... Give me all of them. Cool. I think that's everything. And we found yet another moon. This one is already done. This one is already done. This one is not. And this one is already done. Oh. And we've got one more depot to check. Uh, which I haven't blocked up yet. So we won't know for a minute whether whether or not we've got enough parking spaces for every LTN train when they're inactive. Um, I also want to know what other LTN trains we've got that are stuck somewhere. Like the way we used to do the LTN train pickup here. Wait, are we actually... No way. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, are we actually caught up on Vitamalange extract? Of course not. Of course not. Have we been keeping up with the new core fragment builds? Apparently not. Are we actually bottlenecked on the spaceships now? Is there a problem with the spaceships? Oh, there's... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't turn these around yet. That's a temporary... I don't want to say fix, but... That'll give us a bit more for a little while. Uh, how's this thing going? It's not full. Okay, that's a really good sign. Actually. That is actually a very good sign. Is that an LTN train? No, no let me click on you. No. Uh, it is not. So, is this actually, like, Almost all of the LTN trains. Is this one LTN? It is. I don't know why we're having trouble with crystals all of a sudden. I should update this build as well so we have more prods. So we've got like... I already fixed this one. Is this guy... LTN train? Yes he is. So we've got like at least one, two, three... Over here. Alright, well, let's just go and... Sort out these surprisingly few trains that we've got in this depot. Uh, I thought I was a lot closer to over... To, to having more LTN trains than parking places for them. Uh, but apparently not. We're apparently still... Got a few left over. And I need to check on the small possibility of those moons being any good as well. And last one. Oh. Now we go hunt down whatever LTN trains are not moving. 
for whatever reason at the moment. That's not an LTN train. Presumably the ones that are stuck in a place like this right now, um, unless they're directly picking up from core fragment processing. Oh, this is the old one. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, what? Didn't I make a new erudite core fragment build? I did. This one might just never be receiving erudite core fragments because it's further away and that one's never full. That's why these two trains are stuck here indefinitely. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Let's give them batteries and send them on their merry way. Uh, and then? Don't see any in this general vicinity. What's this guy? Oh, this is not an LTN train. Oh, I should give it batteries, though. Let's do that. Yesterday... Yes, yes. Okay. Um... Why can't I... There we go. Bad... I said batteries. There we go. You there. Do you have... extra batteries? Or any batteries for that matter? If you're ever on the planet, you need some batteries just in case it's night time. Off you go. It's probably going to be a little bit more of an ordeal to get the ones that sometimes come to the surface. Is this LTN? I think it is. It is not. I should give it batteries while I can anyway. Can I, I can't just control click here, can I? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. And also, this guy never got his engines. So if I set it up like this... And then just control click batteries. And then if I see negative three, I know that it's entered correctly. Uh, if I don't see anything, it already had batteries, and if I see something else, I know the loadout is wrong. Cool. That's a little bit easier. Probably could have figured that out a little bit sooner. Did you need to set that train to automatic again? Uh, which one? The one that was going up the space elevator? Because uh, I did, I clicked play, which sets it to automatic to go up the space elevator. I just clicked play on this on the elevator stop. Here is a train up here. Oblitrax, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, batteries negative three, perfection, and we've got one two, three trains over here. And with any luck, that's actually everything. So we should have updated the batteries for all of the trains that are always on the ground. And as for the ones that are only sometimes on the ground, uh, it only matters if they come down here at night. But I'll still go to the trouble of fixing them up sooner or later. You're trying to go to the depot? Huh. Why don't you just go to a different depot stop? These do have the same stop names, right? Yeah, they do. Huh. Interesting. Alright, uh, let's go and replace what all of our it's probably easier if I just place them manually 
one. Hold on, is that facing the right way? Yeah, I don't have the option to face it this way. That one would have been wrong. And one, and two, and three, and four. Cool. Did we get our black stuff here? We did, and it looks a good. I didn't miss any? Nope. Let's do it again for the other depots. And this one. Park yourself here, please. Wait for inactivity 30. Then go back and resupply and do it again over here. And theoretically, all of that will get done uh, with no further action from us. Whoa! A bit eager, our trains are. Let's send the construction train past the other depots. And then down here. And that should do it. Away they go. That's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting how our system handles traffic for the next little while. Here he comes. Beautiful. And apparently I didn't tell the train to wait long enough. Ah, we'll come back to that. Now, we don't have any ships mysteriously stuck in space or anything. Doesn't seem like it. What's your deal? Oh. Oh. What a weird place for the wall to get busted. What? Here? Really? There's no asteroids. Yeah, there's, there's the minimum number of asteroids. Huh. Iron Hauler 12. Well, I guess let's pay it a visit. Oh, there go those bots. Uh, that's why. It got full of stone that it was trying to pick up. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to go personally to fix that ship. Let's get to it. I'm glad it's such a short distance to everywhere um, that we don't even really have to think about do I want to put this off? Now why are we not getting uh, bit of melange core fragments as fast as we're mining them? Do we just need more ships? To be honest, I don't want to make more ships at this point. I'd rather push through to where we can upgrade our ships. Um, and that'll probably... Probably problems like how that ship mysteriously decided to fly to Gibble. Um, stuff like that might just sort itself out because the ships are going to be incredibly fast and have tons of fuel because antimatter. We're just not going to find out about them. Alright, away we go. 
Do we still have a ship part here? We do. Is that the reason why... Why is a ship... This is frustrating. So the rare bug that we built that exception handler drop-off for was a ship would end up in orbit with a few core fragments left over and some bots hovering and stuff and the destination was for some reason pagan orbit. What, which ship was it again? I think we're going there directly. Ion Hall at 12. So we went from that being a rare bug to an extremely rare bug when we stopped the ship's landing unless there was enough storage space here for them to empty immediately. And then finally gave up and made a drop-off for them that would catch those rare exceptions where the ships would still do that. And now all of a sudden we've got ships landing here all the time. I I don't... I don't get it. Might want to check 20 as well. What was wrong with 20? Was it over here? I'm pretty sure 20 is just in orbit of Corsol. So what's wrong with Corsol orbit, if anything? Uh, nothing. What? What? Is this why we have no... Is this what happened to our Immersite? Why are you not landing at Corsol? Why do you have... What? What team? It's probably this one. Yeah. No, this is 13. 14 would be dropping off uh, barrel core fragments. Why does 20 have something on the memory cell as if it was on its way home? If its destination... There's no way that we get barrel from this system, right? What the hell? How did you get here with stuff on your memory cell? Jimbo Panda, Inri Inri, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, what the... <sighs> In general, I'm quite pleased with this system that I built, but if I had... If I had known that I would spend all those hours figuring out and building and testing it and testing the hell out of it and finding no problems and then every, I don't know, 20 or 50 hours or something, something really weird like this would happen, uh, I'd probably skip it next time. This is pretty nutty, yeah. All right. Should I build a different drop-off system? Maybe that was from some exception where I had to manually fix something uh, and I made a mistake and left something on the memory cell because I haven't seen... Like, that is literally the only time I've seen a mistake that looks like that. Let's follow this and see what happens. Yeah, I, I really don't know why we're now getting ships that are full landing here either. Like, are we just like... Are we just ignoring the anchor to left clamp ID that we're being fed? Like, 
swipe. Also, I wanted to see on the ground. Okay, this is this is emptying. That's good. As long as it doesn't become some huge bottleneck that ties up a bunch of our ships, I suppose it's okay. Apparently we don't have... We do have 2,000 barrel core fragments here, so LTN should be trying to pick it up, except that the barrel is pretty full over here. But I'm sure we'll get rid of it eventually, right? I could always... I could always, like, have LTN request more here. It's, if we go 6.4k... Well, isn't that just two train loads? And a bit? Train limit becomes one at less than 2,000 core fragments. LTN will schedule a delivery when we've got far more core fragments than that. 160 stacks per bulk rail loader. That should be fine. We can go to 320. So now LTN is going to pick up the barrel core fragments down here. And after, like, five seconds, the inserters will swing all synchronized-like. Beautiful. There is so much more we could do. It, it'd be so much easier to make better, more sophisticated systems for these things if we could read contents and set requests on two separate wires. Anyway. It seems to be sorting itself out. Scobix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We are two minutes away from Iron Hauler. Oh, we're actually in system and still two minutes away. That goes to show just how much distance in-system accounts for. That's why I'm always looking uh, for a planet here for an outpost. Alright, what's next? What is next? We're probably still a million years behind on Vitalik Reagent. That is the bottleneck, which traces back to just Vitamelange in general. Which should be fixed by now, honestly. Like, we've got Bombato. Uh, I can expand Bombato, but it's already providing... I think it was 132 core fragments per second between Bombato and Moss Garden. Um, and we've got infrastructure to process... 144 per second, so we should be seeing this idle some of the time, even if everything logistically is working perfectly. Um, so 132 per second gives us about 139, 140. Uh, iridium? Iridium? What? Venom lunge per second. Which gives us 369 nuggets per second, which is more than enough to keep these going indefinitely. Apparently. Vitamelange Bloom. The rate it's going right now is about 12k per minute. Oh. Well, it's been steady for almost 10 minutes at least. That's... that's looking promising. Okay. Now, I'm hoping I don't check on Bombato and see just all of the core fragments backed up. 
Which I do. Uh, well. Got a bottleneck somewhere. So we really don't need to add more core drills just yet. Uh, if anything, we need more ships. There's probably ship problems. I don't know. Let's see. That actually looks okay. This guy's stuck here. Hmm. Maybe I should... Oh! Wait, what? Send to train... No, there's no train limit here. Don't we just pick this up unconditionally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where our train will uh, rests. So there's no logic problem with, like, not picking up the core fragments. Um, so why are we not... Why are we not... Oh, the ship is ready! That's why. Hmm. Can I make it a priority to launch this ship? I probably can. Uh, very easily, actually. Just by using... It is... It is high priority. It's higher priority than Beryl or Vitamelange in any case. Is a Vitamelange core fragment saturated at this end? Yeah. Where's the bottleneck? I actually... Don't tell me. We need another train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? What, maybe? Do we, do we need another train to take Vitamelange core fragments down the elevator? You're still dropping off here even though this is full all the time. Uh, I, I think I need to reduce... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I need to reduce the number here to make the vanilla train limits spread out the core fragments. That might actually be the only problem right now. That's actually our bottleneck. Um, it's just taking too long for, as far as the trains are concerned, to saturate like this one and then this one. So these are left idle. And then because we're not... Like, it, it would saturate eventually, I imagine. We might still need another train to go up and down. Especially if I have the Vit Core Fragment trains park at each depot. It makes them take just that little bit longer. Wasn't it the trains that were slowing it down? Yeah, I think it might actually be. Because... Uh, for what I just fixed... Uh, I think maybe that should have saturated by now. If it was going to, right? Yeah, I think we probably need another... Venom lunch train. Alright, let's... Don't tell me I didn't bring... I... I didn't... I... Oh, no. I did. Okay. We've got some spaceship wall. It's fine. It's fine. What's this guy's destination? Stromhurst orbit. Uh... Sure. We'll just... Meet our construction ship there. I guess. ETA 20 seconds. I'm, I'm really surprised. Yeah, it had plenty of heat as well. I, I'm really surprised that it got hit by an asteroid. Here, of all places, where we've got minimum asteroid density.
Oh, do we need to wait for a... this guy to load? He's almost done. In fact, he's about to launch. He's about to launch? Why are we not launching? If S is greater than zero, output input count. Huh? S is definitely greater than zero. Why are we not? If core fragment erudite greater than S. Oh, the bots are going to... Fin oh, it's because the bots are moving erudite around. It's reporting a negative. So many times and places, I wish I could disable that feature. Where if we're checking from a robot, a roboport, querying the robot network, the bots that are moving stuff around report negative numbers. I mean, it shouldn't cause enough... It, it shouldn't cause a bottleneck anyway. Let's grab our ship. Not that one. Construction. Reporting. There we go. And while we're at it, while we're here... That's that's a beam receiver. Let's bring our umbrella down this way. Fantastic. All right, and I presume our power is still a-okay. -okay. Beautiful. Let's go back to Gen Orb. We don't have any more problem ships in this system, do we? Or any? other nearby systems. I don't think we're actually going to this one. Crystallis. Was it Hankerus that we're also going to? Oh. I totally forgot. that I scanned this planet. Now why did I do that? 9.3k barrel. Zion is how far? Uh, planet. Yeah, it's about... It's about the same distance as... Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to use that planet. Why wouldn't I just use Achilles? It's going to take a long time to remove the biters if I don't use a virus bomb, but still. Uh, why, why don't I just... It's not even that much that's been scanned. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to just delete surface here. There is a pyramid. But I don't care about that right now. Delete surface. Cool, cool, cool. How come the CME don't get above like 2.5 gigawatts? I've found it strange that it builds up to that, but doesn't go past it? Uh, yeah, it pretty much depends on the planet. On, on the surface. All right. Uh, so now that we've got all of that sorted out, what I really want to what I really want to do is add another Vitamalange core fragment train or two. Wait, no. Uh, I think we're saturated now. Yeah, it doesn't look like we do need another. Well, okay, I'll I'll wait and t that didn't take long. I was gonna say I would wait until these extra Vit core fragments are gone. Um, before I say that we don't need another train, um, but it turns out 
That already happened. Cool, cool, cool. And that should be enough. Reese Jr., thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Albion Line, good to see you again. Be cool, welcome in also. Um, but yeah, it it seems like with the same number of trains, just by tweaking... Just by saying train limit is one if there's less than one train load of Vitam Lange core fragments in here. Uh, that's all it took. To... Oh, wait, no, this one stopped again. Or it's, it's probably about to stop. Okay. I wonder if it's enough to saturate... Nope. Nope, that's running out. Okay, good to know. I will add another train. I'll have to go back there. So we can put the batteries and stuff in. But we're going to give it the same schedule as... This guy. If rocket silos are placed right next to each other, they pass the fuel through them. Indeed, they do. Giant pipes. Go, burr. Alright. So once I get back, I need to put some batteries and stuff in this thing. And then uh, send it on its merry way. Speaking of which, we are four minutes out from Hagen Orbit. In hindsight, I kind of wish... You know, I could add another space elevator. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight up and one across. Uh, if I were to, for some reason, put the space elevator right where the, where the mall downstairs in is, it would be here. So, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could maybe put one right here. I think it might mess up some of the train schedules if they have the same stop name. Can I, like... Is it going to have the name, like, Hagen... Oh, yeah, we can change it. Cool, cool, cool. Because I th think since I already built all the trains, stations, and stuff around one elevator... Uh, actually, it'd probably be fine, either way. Um, but yeah, I could put an elevator like here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would be about here. And that would be nice and cozy, close to the... Close to both malls. That would literally just be for my own convenience, though. I, I think it would probably be better if I just made a small dedicated fast train for the sake of taxing myself uh, between the two malls, so I don't have to keep hijacking one. I could just set it to passenger present, passenger not present? Well, no, passenger present... Hmm... Could I... Could I squeeze this in like here, I guess? That would... some stuff would have to move there, but that's okay. This is not okay. Um... Could I use circuit logic to make 
the taxis just kind of intuit when I want them to leave. Obviously, for it to leave, I could just say passenger present, but then I don't want it to, like, get there and then immediately leave. So, like, 30 seconds have passed and passenger present, but I'd rather not have to remember to get out. Uh, what if I made it, like, make the, make the train, I can't make the train leave based on a circuit, yes I can. Okay, that opens up some possibilities. Uh, let's say I put it here. I could even do it without a... Without a cargo wagon if I want. Okay, so I want the train to arrive, and I want a latch system to check that the passenger has left the train. That's not going to get me out onto the rail, is it? I might have to... Well, I've got a bunch of space that we haven't been using here for a very long time. I could maybe use this instead. When am I ever going to launch another cargo rocket? I think we can probably just get rid of this. And this one as well. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably get rid of that. And use this area. Uh, I do need a water drop off here, but that's... I, I can put it almost anywhere. Okay, so... Oh, we're back. Cool, cool, cool. I think I will go ahead and get rid of all of this. Good riddance cargo rockets. Sneaky... Oh, this was for the liquid rocket fuel for baby ship. Um, I could just put the fuel thingy. Fuel. Refinery. I could just put it like here. And sneeze. Okay. Uh, request a chest. There we go. Now then, let's say we put our train stop here. Um... I could have this train double as... A train that'll move certain items between the two malls. Aren't we going to be bringing Energy Catalog 1 downstairs anyway, actually? Yeah, we are. So we can make the, um... We can make the wide area beacons at the mall anyway. Well, I can certainly leave room for... Putting some stuff in this train. It's not going to make it all that much slower. Now then. I think I'll put even more advanced additional electric engines in. Because this thing isn't going to have to operate very often. And we'll just run off the batteries. Actually, like, probably two solars, two batteries, this should be fine. Give it a whirl. 
How much battery storage is that? 300 megajoules? So, 2 megawatt, uh, 350 over 2. Uh, I think that means we get 175 seconds of full speed out of our very speedy little little uh, train here. Okay, so the big idea is it's a little hard to see here, but let me just put this over here for now. Just for the thought exercise. So we're going to both detect that there is a train. And we're also going to send to train. Uh, let's have red wire from green wire to. Read stopped train. I guess we can't read that it has a passenger. Can, can we? Surely not. Read train contents. I'm pretty sure that doesn't include me. Read stopped train. That's T. Oh, it doesn't. This thing isn't actually stopped there yet. X N M O. I see. All right, so we've got stopped train. That's 2.9 million is the train ID. Uh, it definitely doesn't report that there's a player in the train. Do medias threaten Foenestra as well? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I ever did build media defenses there. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure now. Okay, so the train can know if it has a passenger. Passenger present, passenger not present. We want... Before it leaves, we want passenger present... And uh, some amount of time has passed. And I was hoping... I was hoping to detect that the player had left the train. And then trigger a latch. And basically say that player has to be in the train as well. So basically the, the player has to have left the train and then re-entered the train, right? Hmm. We can have the train... Uh, train? We can have the train leave based on a circuit condition, but the only way I can think of to detect a player is with a gate. Pretty sure this is the first gate we've built. Actually, no, there's probably some back on Nalvis. Feels like a whole other playthrough at this point. How is Nalvis doing? Uh, control 2. There we go. Nalvis is... More or less about the same as last time we checked. The beam is beaming. Little by little we are thinning the swarm.
I was just thinking I should bring some, but I don't remember if I've ever seen medias around there. Yeah, I don't think I have. But... Well, no, I, d I really don't think I have. So, we can detect the player with a gate, but what if... Hmm. It's not going to trigger unless I'm moving. Or standing close to it. If I put gate... Uh, do we have enough storage that I can move this stuff? I think so. If I put gates all around the train... Uh-oh. 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 Um... <laughs> Uh, robot networks. That's not what I meant to do at all. It's fine. Oh my god. Why are you like this? Oh no. I thought it would be just a little just a little oopsie. I guess I could put it in logistic mode. This guy can still reach. Doesn't that No, it doesn't connect it to the main one. Okay, hopefully that's the end of picking up all of this crap. Why? Why is it still why is it still reaching over? That... Is it this guy? It is. Alright, does that segregate our robot networks to the point where we can actually fix this? It looks like it does. I'll have to change these back afterwards. space. Alright, so hopefully we've cleared out everything that's not supposed to be in this robot network now. Why does this have lighted pylon substation as its filter? That's very... Oh, it's to make it's to build this out. Duh. Okay. Are we still reorganizing here? Good gravy. This is a little worse than I was expecting. What kind of time frame is it for the glaive to clear a large-ish planet? Uh, I don't know, but it's a lot. Depends on how much you put into it and how many glaives you have. Okay. So I'm hoping... How many more of these do we need? 31? Uh, how do I make more? Of course I throw away the stuff that I need to handcraft it. Steel plate. There's some steel. Uh, and stone, I guess? 
why am I still automation core? What do you mean? I need copper. What? What now? Iron? Okay, okay fine. I need the stupid iron. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Budgie bum, Ian Noah, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Would it be more efficient to break the Nalvis beam down to 25 gigawatt glaives? Quite possibly. What have we got? 100 gigawatt. Do I have... I've only got the one roboport that I left there, so I'd have to fly over. We do have three beam emitters and a bunch of chambers and injectors handy, though. I guess I could pick a dollies the roboport across. Um, is this ten? So five. That actually breaks into quarters very nicely. All right. Let's put it, like, uh, where do I want to put it? Whatever the case. Bring this over here first. Why does that not connect? But it looks like that one would. I just need to copy that then. I want this to be symmetrical. And then... Right about here. And I need to... Maybe I didn't leave myself enough room there. It dollies the bots across. No! this thing back. There we go. Now they don't know where the storage is. Uh, now they're just very confused. Oh no, what have I done? What? What? What have I done? Oh no, I think I'd better go over there. Dust orb. Away we go. Uh, I don't even need to take any materials, we've got everything there. I should really just put more roboports out. Um, now back to the design of this thing. Why did we not place more gates? Oh, because I turned my roboport off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the idea is... I hope... Even though when I press enter to get out of the vehicle, I'm pretty sure these gates aren't going to move. Uh, the moment I move anywhere... They will detect that the play is there. Um, and I kind of need to physically be there to play with them. Oops. 
Oh, we actually need, like, some pieces of wall. You can't connect to the gates directly. I kind of want to make it spiked steel wall just so it looks, doesn't look out of place. Or at least concrete wall. How do we make concrete wall? Stone wall and concrete. Uh, I could just do it here, but we'll probably make way too many. And apparently our construction bots are still crying. Oh, I... I was going to say I could use spaceship wall, but nah. And this requires concrete. So we'll put some pieces of wall uh, about here, and here, and here, and here. Can't really do that on the station side, so... Put a piece of wall here. And then if we connect to basically the edge of the gate, uh, we can force the gate to open or close. I think if we leave that switched off, it'll, it'll have default behavior. Uh, and we can read a sensor G when the gate is open, I think? Or when it detects something where it would want to open. So, player gets out. I'm pretty sure the gates won't move. But once the player moves at all, uh, at least one of these gates is going to move. We can use that as a sensor to, to detect that the player has gotten out of the train, I hope. Uh, so that's how we can get a circuit signal for basically passenger not present. And then... And then it's actually really simple. I don't need a latch or anything. Um, wait, it might be even simpler than that. If there's a delay in the gate's um, recording a G signal then we, don't, we actually won't need any circuitry, because we can say uh, if passenger present and G is greater than zero. If we're lucky, it'll be as easy as that, and we won't even need a single combinator. Uh, if not, we'll have to just uh, have like a... I guess a memory cell that gets reset when the train leaves. And it switches on when it detects G, and uh, as soon as passenger present and the memory cell is switched on, the train can leave. Should be pretty simple. Alright, give me some robo-ports. And... Don't know what the hell is going on over here still. But if I just pick this up, they should continue floating for no apparent reason. Uh, okay. Wait, what if I put down another RoboPort? Alright, cool, cool, cool. 
and then this guy can come back over here. And don't forget these. Don't forget this. And pick up all of these. And then we'll have some robo pods over here. Uh, and that's probably more than enough, but just to be sure. We'll add some ports over this way. In fact, I'll leave some robo ports in, uh, in the storage here. Cool, cool, cool. May as well leave that here. Now then. Now this. Uh, autoclave. And go. And we should still have enough power. We've still got more than enough power. It's cooking that big worm pretty quickly. It's cooking these guys pretty quickly. I'm wondering if... Can I set it to manual glaive? What? Why didn't it... What? Oh, it's like moving? Where, where, where is the bloody thing? Here it is. I just want to see if uh, the big biters, yeah, they're, they're taking damage, even though we're not focused on them properly. Okay, yeah. I, I think there might be an upper limit for how much you can get out of pumping power into one leave. Um, that said, since we've got like 18, no, uh, like 28 gigawatt almost uh, to spare over here, I did notice that this isn't powered. Let's put it over here. And here. Uh, yeah, we've we've got some spare power without adding more solars. We may as well. How's that looking? Wait, what? Oh, that was too much already. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I thought I calculated that we had, like, 28 gigawatts. Oh, this wasn't powered, that's why. Yeah, we've got like 8 gigawatt, if that. I can't put these on the end, can I? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. So, these are 100 megawatt each. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't afford 8 gigawatt more. Unless I add more solar panels. It's going to go just over. Oh, rotating doesn't work properly with these. Oh, now it's going to be way over because... Uh, because... That wasn't powered either. Wait, yeah, we're actually like really, really tight here. Two gigawatt to spare. Okay then. Well, that should clear Nalvis a bit faster, I imagine. If 
friendly because we're covering more area. I mean, the spawners already... The, the spawners still die before we point directly at them, so... Pro probably. Burn, 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 indeed. Artur's lucky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I wasn't present earlier. Why are you putting up those gates? Because uh, it's the only way to detect the player. And I'm trying to build an automated system... Um... to taxi me between the two uh the two malls Paladus indeed So what do we got? Yeah, 26 gigawatt uh oh. Yeah, 26 gigawatt for each glaive. Considering the speed limit of the beam, uh, I think that alone means we'll probably do this a bit faster by splitting them up, right? You can see the very edge of where this stuff is regenerating faster than this is burning him. Those would probably be dead by now if it was the big beam, so that's something. Uh, I was considering just putting more power into it while I was there, but I really want to work on this taxi system. Doesn't the vanilla train have the option of player present? Yes, but I want it to basically say... Player got out of the train and player present. So I don't have to, like, tell it when to leave. Uh, I, I don't have to... T uh, if, if I, like, get in the train and have it go to the other outpost, uh, the other mall, and then I forget because I'm looking at something else, and then I'm sitting here in the train, I don't want it to cycle um, or go back if, like, 30 seconds have passed or something. So I want it to detect that player has left the train and player is in the train. Like, after the player has left at least once. So yeah, as I was saying, if the uh, if there's a delay, even a little bit, from the signal for the gate, then we could literally just say on the train... Passenger present and circuit G greater than zero. Uh, if not, we'll just need a memory cell. And that memory cell is going to look like... Uh, if T is greater than zero, output G input count. Simple as that. So, if train is detected... Uh, and if G is detected, cycle G continuously. Which will count up indefinitely, but that's fine. Well, I could just output G1. So G1 or 2 will go round and round in circles here. And that way we don't have to worry about max int. I assume it'll cause more loss to use energy beam to orbit. And then use local glaze? Um, probably. It's definitely a bunch of infrastructure we don't need. I mean, there's going to be loss from here to here anyway. To get the, the heat to orbit. And then we need a power plant that can turn the heat into another energy beam, which means heat to electricity uh, to beam, which means we need water, because 
well, I haven't tried the fusion power yet, but suffice to say, we need some sort of logistics. Um, like providing ice for the water that we lose, even in condenser turbines. All right, so let's try this. What? Oh, here we go. Okay. Now then. So because the gate... Oh, first of all, we might not need this. Um, but I will be detecting if the gate has been activated in any case. And that'll be connected to the train stop regardless. So I want these to just be set to read sensor G. I don't want any circuit behavior controlling the gates. Uh, so now if the... Uh, let me just do a, like a light indicator here. If G... Oh, wait, better idea. Output green signal. And lamp. And connect. Alright, so if I get out... Huh. That's weird. Even though the gate opened, it didn't... Oh, wait. Use colors green greater than zero. Never mind. Huh, cool. I thought the gate wouldn't open uh, just when I got out, um, because... Because I thought I would have to move to trigger the, uh, the gate. Cool, cool, cool. So, the moment I get out, looks like we won't need that much. Uh, gate. What the? And don't tell me that's the same length as this one. It is. Nice. We get a bit of symmetry. Okay. So gate detects that the player is out of the train. Um, I want to say there's a slight delay. So, here we're going to say if passenger present and green signal, we can leave. Okay. And go. Oh, it works. Oh, that's nice. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm just going to add this temp stop back here as soon as we... Actually, just do it like that. Okay, so the train should not go anywhere until I get out. Uh, and I'm hoping there's no delay on the passenger present information. Uh, but we do have that slight delay on the green signal. Because that would mean if I get out, the train's not going anywhere. Yes. Okay. I guess I could, like sneak into the train this way and it wouldn't leave but yeah if i stand where there's a gate and get in that's it uh and i guess we don't need all of these gates i just need one where i'm going to get into the train right So 
So if I just leave this here. That's it. That's all it took. Because there's a slight delay on the signal from the gate. And no delay from the train recognizing that passenger is present. Or at least a smaller one. Nice. I never imagined that we would be able to make it this succinct. Oh, that one didn't work because I was on this side. There we go. Very cool. If that signal delay didn't exist there, um, that gives me an idea for one way you could do this without a memory cell. You could literally just put some combinators to delay the signal. Uh, possibly just one to delay the signal from the gate. All right, can we schedule the train though? Let's see. I want the exact same thing downstairs. We'll call this, um, I don't know, mall taxi. Kind of want a different symbol. What do we got? Up and down. That's so hard to see. It's easy to see against the grayish background, though. Yeah, no, that's that's fine, actually. Let's call it up and down mall taxi. And the schedule's going to be like this. Mall taxi, twice. Actually, it can probably just have that once, and then he can... How do I... Would... He can down... It's not working. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So if we put Hagen... Hagen up, Hagen down. Now I think I do need two mall taxi stops in here. Which is not getting added for some reason. There we go. Uh, so mall taxi, Hagen up, passenger present, and circuit condition. And then Hagen down, Mole Taxi. That should be it, right? Up the spell elevator, go to Mole Taxi. Wait till passenger just got back in. Down the spell elevator, go to Mole Taxi. Wait till passenger just got back in. That seems good. Whoa. Uh, this is fine, actually. So I need to make the same thing here, and I need to do a different drop-off somewhere for our water. Um, that might be a problem, actually. Hmm, where am I going to put it? I could make this a water drop-off as well. Uh, we can move these over here. It's probably better, actually. And 
then... Like that. There we go. So then we just connect this here, make a request threshold of 60k, or a bit more, uh, and request water. Uh, I'm going to test it. Let's get rid of this guy. And delete all the water. And there should be a train on the way to deliver water shortly. Or, or not? Uh-oh. Also, I guess that connection over there could piggyback over this way and we could get rid of this. Um, anything not equal to zero. But yeah, why are we not getting water delivered here? It's not like we've got water in the logistic network, right? Yellow? Where's our water pickup station? Here we go. Provide threshold 60k. Short trains or long trains do not care. Encoded network ID. Why do we have an encoded network ID on water? Uh... I... I don't know, but I have a feeling that I shouldn't mess with it. Is that the only water pickup? Hmm... I'm gonna trust my past self on this one. Uh, except this is encoded network ID 2 because of all this stuff. Alright, fine. I'm going to remove this and have regrets, perhaps. Why are we still not scheduling a water pickup? Did we already do it? No. No, oh, is that an old pump? No, no, it's not. Why are we not delivering water here? Request threshold 65k. Water, negative, uh, negative 60k. Oh, I did those backwards. That's why. Well, there's your problem. And is that the only one picking up from here? I think it is. So it's probably fine. Water go burp. Core fragments produce water, so you need to prioritize it. Yeah, but I don't need an encoded network ID to prioritize it. Um, that's the thing. Why do I have like a water? Thing here. There's no, there's no water here. It's weird. Um, four fragments. Water. It's just a high priority pickup. And I could add a flare stack to it if I really needed to, but the water from here is very slow. Forty-two per second. 
Hmm. Well, we got our water here anyway. That seems to work. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we came back up the elevator, didn't we? Because I didn't have the mall taxi stop. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Let's place... This one here. I don't think we've got any gates or concrete walls lying around, though. Uh, we should have gates here. Oh, and there's our concrete walls. Fantastic. And go. Oh crap, we're out of fuel. Oh no. Um, well, one side of the train is out of fuel anyway. Hopefully not the side of the train that we need to get to the mall. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Um, it ran out of fuel and it, and we made it anyway. That was pretty cool. Why do we only have one space train power pack in each of these? Whatever the case, um, let's... Let's give it what it needs over here. Why is this outside of the robot network? Whatever. Cool. Um, so yeah, that should... That should enable us to travel between the two malls with just the press of a button. And we didn't even need to add any weird uh, extra bits of rail or anything. Alright. Home, James. Casual 500 kph, that seems good. Actually, I just thought of something that would be a good incentive to build space rail everywhere. Make it make the trains go slightly faster. Not sure if a mod could do that or not. Um, but yeah. Here we are. Out we get. In we get. Simple as that. And it's not going to loop if I sit around doing nothing. I'm very pleased I managed to simplify it that much, just because I realized... There's a delay from the, uh, from the gates. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need to get this train going. Whoops. And hopefully that removes our bottleneck. Or moves our bottleneck. For Vitamelange core fragments. If not, we'll just have to add another one. Meanwhile, in space, uh, 
if this is empty, then maybe we already didn't need that. Oh, that's looking pretty full, though. Alright, cool. Do we still perpetually have a ship ready down here? Why do we still always have a ship down here? I... I don't understand why full ships are landing here. Hey, we have zero ships hanging around outside of Hagen orbit. Uh, while that means maybe we're bottlenecking on our spaceships, uh, it does mean that we don't have any of those ships, like, bugged in Hagen orbit like that. RF Holloway, Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, um... So why is this guy stuck? No heat? Wait, it's got electricity still. No, it doesn't. Uh, we're just not seeing the flashy thing. It looks like this guy is trying to pick out used up uranium fuel cells, but can't. A rocket launcher. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is a little bit frustrating considering that I set the, um... I, I set the inserter to take used up uranium fuel cell out and therefore put another one in when we're down to 75% accumulator charge. And you're telling me the, what, the laser turrets sucked all the power, super high priority, and we couldn't even swing an inserter before this thing got completely empty? You will repair a broken ship? Uh, sort of, yeah. It's not that it's broken, it's that... It just didn't put more fuel in when it was supposed to. I, and I don't know why. What was the name of the ship? Paula 13. Lucky 13. And where is it going? Uh, oh, it's going to Hagen Orbit. That makes it easy. Speaking of ships going to Hagen Orbit, I really want to see some land. Because I want to try to understand why ships that are full, that are not experiencing that bug, are landing here of all places. Like, if they have if they have a anchor to right clamp or left clamp rather if they have that signal on this memory cell they shouldn't ever be landing at the at the backup landing pad we're here already let me in And that's all it takes. Construction ship. Board. Hurry up, I want to see that other ship land. Oops. And we got a couple of seconds. 13. Again, orb. Go. Fantastic. Just in time. And... And it lands in the right spot. So, I don't know what's going on. We've got another one coming in. Hall of Seven. Carrying Beryl. I definitely saw Beryl being dropped off at that backup location. Maybe... No, I was going to say maybe there's like 
a frame or two where the memory cell information isn't being received by the hmm that might actually be it if distance signal equals negative one that means that means that means that means distance signal Negative one if arrived, negative two if anchored, negative three if no destination set. So basically negative if we're stopped, but negative one if arrived. Once we've arrived, send this stuff through. So I think there's actually... I think they're actually using the universal drop-off as a high priority. Because I think when, when the ship first gets back, there's like at least a couple of ticks where it's only receiving anchor to target left clamp one. So basically the universal drop-off that is supposed to be an exception handler behaves as the default. Ay ay ay. Well, maybe that's okay as long as as long as we can keep up with it. Because I'm pretty sure because of this there isn't a way to have them That rare bug where they relaunch with a few core fragments and nothing on the memory cell. I can't think of a good way to have them arbitrarily land at some other target clamp. The amount of circuitry and stuff that we would need for that. I'd, I'd need to, like, detect that there's bots hovering. I don't think there's always bots hovering when that happens. I'd have to, like, detect that there's nothing on the memory cell and our destination is Hagen Orbit. And this is set to negative one. Nah, I think... As much as I hate to say it, I think we're just gonna have to leave it to where this is the default the default drop off that's a little bit annoying but at least now it makes sense and as long as we're seeing empty uh, empty tiles here and these were full earlier um it, it's not actually causing a problem. But if I was going to use... If I was going to use universal drop-offs, I, I would have built universal drop-offs in the first place. The reason I didn't is if we don't use a bot loading system like this, uh, we need so many train stations. And then we need a system to sort, just like we're doing here, uh, to offer what we've got to LTN and sort it so that we don't pick up the wrong core fragments when the train comes. There's only one type of core fragment here that has more than enough to request a train load, so... I, I don't think we're actually... I don't think we're really having problems. Hmm... Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess I could have added, like... I don't really have room here, but I could add, like, if destination equals... If destination from the console equals Hagen Orbit, then... That's another condition to output everything from the memory cell. That would actually work, and it would only require one more combinator, but where are we even going to squeeze it in? Maybe we'll do it for the next... Uh, the second tier of spaceships. Okay. How's the clearing of Nalvis looking? I don't think we're going to be able to, like, perceive that it's going faster. Even if it is. There's just a lot to get through. I do want to put some more energy into these beams because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's the limit to the radius for the damage but we can increase the damage at that radius so that uh, the stuff doesn't just regenerate How long does it take to get to this level of understanding in the game? Uh, at least seven minutes because I feel I'll, like I'll never get there it's... Uh, you know, every every journey starts with a single step. Factorio is... Uh, it gets very complicated, especially with the space exploration mod. But, unless you're talking about something like Arcospheres, which is deep, deep into space exploration, we're not there yet. Um, one of the nice things about Factorio is you build very complex systems one little easy to understand piece at a time it's it's honestly a really good learning curve for the most part se is very good at teaching you circuits yeah it's good at forcing you Reese jr welcome in Kap kapem kota welcome also repair a ship with damaged walls uh yeah we did i don't think i've got as, well, as far as I know, I don't have any more damaged ships out there. As far as I know... Maybe I should have more than one... Nah, it's probably fine. Pro probably. Once you know how to automate one thing, you basically know how to automate everything else. It's just different ingredients? Mm, somewhat. SE certainly gives you some more interesting and challenging variations on recipes. Lots of, uh, lots of stuff with byproducts, for example. Lots of recipes that recycle some of the ingredients, like 75% of the time. 6.5 minutes, this gives me hope. <laughs> Indeed. If you watch T-Hacks every weekend, it'll take you 6.5 minutes. Th thank you. I think. Um, so how's our Vita Melange Core Fragments now? Empty. Well, okay, not empty. Uh, are we... Are we processing... I think we are. Because I didn't actually make enough mines to keep up with these three indefinitely. Although Bombato was probably saturated. We're probably not keeping up with it with the spaceships. Yeah. We kind of need more spaceships, but I kind of want to put it off until we're making the higher tier ones. But on the other hand, the amount of Vita Melange we need for even the most remotely decent throughput of reagent is just beyond obscene. Hmm. We do have catalog three all backed up though, so that's nice. Did we get any data cards here? We did not. 
bioelectric data, which needs the tier 3 significant biomass, which needs the vitalic reagent, which always, always needs way, 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 way more extract, which is where this is going right now, actually. Damn, stack size 200 still takes a while to load with the bulk rail loaders. Then again, it's not like we have to send a train very often for this. We've got more than enough trains. Spent more time loading than traveling, probably. And in we go. And see how quickly this gets consumed. Is it even going to accumulate in the bulk rail unloaders? It is, at least for a minute. And... Yeah, that should last like two minutes at least. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, it looks like we'll get a train load this time. Alright, let's park ourselves at Calidus Orbit, like I should have done last time. Actually, don't park up there. And grab ourselves a bunch of scaffolding. I should have made more room in my inventory. It's fine. It's not actually fine. Only being able to fit 1,300 scaffolding is really going to uh, not work out so well for us. So how far does this... Go. What? Wait, what? Nalvis. Oh, something's getting destroyed on Nalvis. Uh, I think it was a media. Huh. Huh. Do we not have? We do not. It's fine. I'm going to disassemble all the old Nalvis base eventually. Make it a standard outpost. Save some UPS. That's actually already where it needs to be. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, turn off robots. We've got 1124 scaffolding. How much is this? 264. Or that's already like double what I can carry in one go. Yeah, I'm going to have to drop some stuff in a chest for this. What the? Oh. All the stuff I don't need right now. Might need some lighted pylon substations. Might need some rocket fuel. May as well leave these energy beam injectors here. Alright, that's probably good enough.
It's not just Nalvis that I want to clear in the solar system. So we may as well put some more energy into it. Can I make this bigger? Yeah. Alright, away we go. Yeah, that's actually not quite as much as I thought it was. Oh, I don't have construction bots. No! Oh, the left click. What a disaster. There we go. Thank you, thank you. And I'm out. I don't think I brought enough for that much this time. Might have to make another trip. Oh yeah, definitely. So let's just fill out what we can from the right side. I don't suppose... Surely I can't go down the middle and make all of this reach, can I? Oh, I can! Nice. There we go. Alright. Solar panels. And I'm gonna put some of these in if nothing else than to prevent the solar panels from getting all wonky. Uh, and I guess we don't have to worry about it on this end. Why are those ones wonky? What? 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 No! Start from back here. That looks about right. I hate how it skips a few tiles the first time. Alright, let's grab some solars. And we can probably bring these over here as well. Fantastic. Give me the solar panels, every single one. Oh, and I need robots. Well, technically I don't need robots, but it's a much easier with the robots. Wherefore art thou robots? Why do I have only nine? There we, that, that was maybe a little excessive. There we go. Will the beam be faster if you have more power? Uh, up to a point, yes. Oh, and now I've gone and... ...removed those. Whoopsie-daisy. One more trip and we should be able to, well, we'll definitely be able to fill that out nice and neatly. How much power do we have already? Uh, about... Should probably wait till we're done. Because it's climbing faster than I thought it would. Now our bots are upset with us.
We've already got uh, like 12 gigawatt to spare. Plus 200 times 12 megawatt. So like 14... 140. No, I feel like I'm miscalculating that. Okay. Six and ten. Okay, so we should be able to add four of these at each end, I hope. See how that goes. And we're draining ever so slightly. Uh, but I want the symmetry. We're literally just, just barely over. Oh man. Oh man. Fine. We'll go finish it. But meanwhile, we should find that the stuff on the edge of the radius is actually losing hit points now. If I can find one that's in the process of going through a base. Oops. Nope. All three of the ones that I powered up to the max. have basically finished going through a base right now. Oh well. Welcome, welcome, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, what else are we doing? Need to put some batteries in these guys, or that guy. Oh, there's no efficiency modules here. Do we have them in the construction train? Uh, no, no we don't. Not sure why. Wait, what? There's 28 efficiency modules. They're all here. This thing's trying to load speeds that we don't have. Uh, did, did we take all of the speed modules from the mall? Is that what's happening? What are we short on here? Solid fuel? ruh -ro. Uh, I should probably put a beacon over here as well. Let's do that. I don't need to physically go there myself for this one. Um, except we don't have any efficiency modules right now. Hmm. Let's just drop our request speed modules for the moment. Apparently we still... There we go. And efficiency 28 is all we've got right now. Alright, uh, what level of beacon do we need? Oh, we can't touch it all with just one? That's kind of unfortunate. Hmm... Hmm. Uh, I 
kind of screwed myself over a little bit here. I didn't build this to fit the beacon. And we definitely could have. Alright. One here and one here, I guess. And then we'll park this guy over here. And then... We'll put stuff in the beacon and see how it goes. 110% extra power consumption is not really what I'm interested in right now. So let's give it some more efficiency. Plus 20. Uh, we get half effect from this, right? So this will be minus 50%. Wait, didn't we just go from like 100 and something to 20? Whatever, let's just step it down. Negative 70%. Perfect. And we need some speed modules. In the machines over here. Oh, I could put prods in these while I'm at it. I was about to change this back to prod anyway. And apparently we're out of speed modules, even though we've got all of these here. Alright. Now I need to do something about the solid fuel. Right one is too far to the left, never mind. Okie dokie. Internet doing better today? I certainly hope so. Oh, I left all my stuff back there. We're definitely going... <laughs> to finish that solar expansion first. Bonk indeed. So if there's only loose biters, uh, will they create new spawners eventually? I don't think so, even if you do have expansion switched on. I think it has to... Oh no. No coming through. Uh, I, I think there like, probably has to be a spawner for the AI to spawn a bunch of biters and then put them in a group and make them like move over somewhere and turn into a new base. How's our Vitamelange been? Vita Melange. I can probably measure it just based on bloom, honestly. And it's been certainly improved over the last four hours. Currently, we are looking at 9.4k per minute, which translates to 1.7 extract per minute, 1.7 thousand. Uh, 2.6k spice. And about uh, just under two stacks of Vitalic Reagent per minute, which is a lot better than like 1.2 stacks per minute that we had before. I need some ranges other than 10 hours, one hour to get a better, a better idea, but certainly we've got a lot more coming through. A train has indeed come to pick up a Vitalik Reagent since we were here. I don't suppose... nope. Did I crank the priority on bioelectric? I think I should, because it's a prerequisite for a lot of stuff. I want that to be the first place significant biomass goes. Ooh, we're actually saturated on radiation exposure data. Well, of course we are. We only need regular biomass for that one. And then... 
Decompression data needs experimental biomass. Yeah. Anything that doesn't require vitamolunge extract. Uh, sorry, uh, what is it called again? Vitalic reagent. Why... Why is our bio sludge over full? How did this happen? What the hell? How much does this make? One to five bio sludge. If this has been the only consumer? And we're getting like two and a half bio sludge per recipe? That would take a lot. How, how are we over full on bio sludge? That, that's very strange. Sludge is dependent on the rest consuming it? Kinda. Well, okay, let's think about this. We need experimental biomass, which costs bio sludge. So, like, this recipe shouldn't be net positive on bio sludge, and it's basically all that's been happening here. Oh, is it neural gel? Maybe? Hmm. I hope this is something that just having more bio sludge storage is good enough for. Hmm. Well, I can add some copious bio sludge storage and uh, if that ends up filling up. Then we know we have to rethink our logic there. Oh, we need some scaffolding as well. Um, sure. I should really redesign this loader based on the new version. Oh. Oh no. Um, I guess we need to empty this guy first. More tanks, more better. This is basically true. Wait, what are you doing? No. No, I accidentally removed that stop. Uh, now what? You're joking. What, did it stop in a position where I can't... No, no, no. I can tell it to go here. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. There we go. Wow, that looks kind of cool. It'd be great if we could turn off the bulk rail unloaders with a signal. And then... Deleted the wrong stop, indeed. Alright, I think this thing's good to go again. Let's go back to Dust Orb. And I just realized I kinda wanted to... Work. no, it's fine. It's fine, in fact... Well, okay, this will only take a second, but I was gonna say maybe I should... Maybe I should redo the loader for this train while we're at it. But yeah, we literally need like 25 scaffold over here first. Where was it? Up here? Yeah, 
There we go. And it's going to think that the fluids are mixing again, but I don't care. It's fine. Boop. And boop. Oh. Oh, oh, good timing. We've got, um... We've got some extract. Look at how fast this is. It actually only needs one reagent. Oh, it needs like two and a half reagents per significant biomass, actually. Uh, but yeah, suffice to say we'll be getting a few train loads of biomass now, because stack size 5. And here it comes. And go. This one's quite a bit slower. So how much do we get? 90%, but it's... The stack size is 10 times as high, so we need like... What, 11 or 12 train loads of significant biomass to get one train load of bioelectric data? Ouchie. Oh, I forgot. I was going to steal some of that bioelectric data to get um, the bare minimum of AI cores that we need to make. I think it was the advanced research servers, but there's no urgent need, to be honest. Anyway, one minute till we're back at Calidus Orbit. Yay, indeed. Calidus? Yes, Calidus. Why, why was the question mark again? I remember you told me the story of that emote, but... It just seemed a little bit... Ruru, indeed. Selavix, welcome in. Uh, I guess I'll park this train over here for now. Uh, if I... If I can. There we go. Wait there indefinitely, please. And we're gonna deconstruct this whole mess. We're not, actually, I want the station name handy. Um, let me just put this over here. And we won't need an emptier. Get that out of here. Seif kept forgetting he wanted to fix Calidus Orbit, so chat kept reminding him. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I... Don't have any urgent need to decon all of this st stored stuff over here. So let's just hold on to that for the moment. For simplicity's sake, I will remove all of this. And I guess I will keep the station and these containers where they are already. Why do we have uranium-230... Five in here. Ravna. Maybe I should just empty it. It's pretty it's pretty lean actually. Yeah, let's just let's just empty it. And then end up grabbing it with this train. Whoops. Alright, so we're gonna copy I think we'll just copy this design out, right? Yeah, don't see why not. But then, do I have room for it? Didn't I blueprint this? Uh, where would I have put it? Where did I put it? It's not under circuits, is it? Probably should be, it's one of my better inventions. 
K2SE Construction Train Oh, here it is. Advanced Construction Train Loader. Fantastic. Uh, and this train is a little bit longer, but that's fine. You know what? It'll kind of simplify things if I just get this out of the way. Although... Hmm. Maybe I should mirror it. Whoops. There we go. Jump into the editor. Advanced construction train loader. I think if we just get rid of the station, we can... But flip paste, right? And then this goes over here. And then this is going to be a space rail. Um, we're going to want 200 minus 4. 96 bots. Should be fine. And we need red wire going here. Read train contents, read stopped train, so we don't need to send anything to the train. Uh, I kind of want that red signal to just be like locomotive. So this will be the train ID. It tells us that there's a train there. And then we just need to change what goes in the train. Uh, and change the train stop name as well. Uh, that sh should be pretty much trivial. Why are we bonking? So I do want to decon this after all. Oh, and then we want this train stop name. Did you want four or three wagons for this train? Uh, that's true, I did want four. Why do we have so many... Oh, I remember why we have this many robopods here. That was what, from when we were deconstructing the spaghetti. I think we need some more scaffolding for that to fit. Uh, and this is going to override the station name. Whatever. I'll fix it. Oh no, we did have just enough room already. Well, I want to put the, um, the storage chests for scaffolding and such over here anyway. Uh, and I want to repeat this one more time. Oh, wait. This one might be... a problem. Well... It's only a problem if we don't have the storage in place before we start inputting stuff. Because we're putting the same items in different cargo wagons, uh, it might be a little bit whack. Oops. Uh, 
should be able to do pretty much that. And copy this up here. And then... Uh, scaffold... Scaffold O-Train Loader. Sure. Fuck yourself over here, please. And wait for inactivity, I guess. That may or may not sort itself out. We're going to need some RoboPort reach over here. Why are we not... Don't tell me some of the hovering bots have the buffer warehouses. Uh, Alright. Give me some scaff. And give me some... Flat solar panels. And we'll finish this part and add just a little bit more to our energy beams. Beautiful. That should all be straight. Probably. Why are the why is there a line behind me that's not getting done? That's weird. They're getting prioritized in different sweeps because they were placed uh, at separate times, I guess. And just for the hell of it, give me a few more accumulators. Up we go. And that should be all of them. Alright, how much power do we have to spare? Like 5 gigawatt. That, but that is less than 8 gigawatt. Hmm. 8,000 over 12.2. Wait, more like 3,000. Uh, I only need, like, 250 more flat solars. A little bit more than I'm carrying right now. So if I do... If I make this go two solar panels higher... It should be just enough for the increase. That would be nice and symmetrical. And stop. Ah. Oh. Should be right. And then... Uh, how do I line this up? I don't... I think that's a bit much. Is 
Is that going to line up with... It does. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to have to go back for more solar panels anyway, so let's go grab... Oh, I already got... Never mind, whatever. Give me the solar panels. Welcome back, bots. No? Are we not... Placing... Our lighted pylon... Oh, okay. But you are confusing. Very confusing. Gonna need some more pylons. Over yonder. Pretty sure that's right. Yep. I've got a hundred and fifty bots, that's not the problem. All right. So we should have more than 8 gigawatt to spare now. Uh, looks like we have almost exactly 8 gigawatt to spare. I hope this is enough. Oh, I forgot. I was trying to... I was trying to get enough for that one as well. Oh no, I'm sure this is going to go over the top. Yep. How screwed are we? Uh, looks like we need to remove two. So what is it? 12.2 megawatt. I need 82 flat solar panels. Times two. Uh, what have I got? 200. Alright, we've got enough... Uh, Yeah, we, I need to do exactly what I just did. Add another couple of layers here. How much scaff do I have back here? Like... Let's call it 9,000. Stop, stop with the jetpack. There we go. If I've got 9,000... Scaffolding. How much is this? This is 2k. All right, cool. Two. Oh my god. Uh, I, I can't. No. Okay, all right. Two, four, six, eight. We should be able to do all of that, at least scaffolding wise, before we leave. Mr. JJ, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have you encountered a bug where you get painfully slow satellite view? Um, not really. Not that I can... Th not specifically that I can think of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we've probably got enough scaffold. In my inventory, that is. And it looks like we can do it all in one. Fantastic. And... Stop. No, I went exactly two over again.
Okay. No, I think that's going to be wrong. Yeah, it's skipped one over here. What we have to do is grab it like this, start over here, and then... It doesn't matter that it skips a little bit at first. Cool, cool, cool. And now we have another three gigawatt left over. Perfection. So that is 32 gigawatt times four. One online, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Did you want four or three wagons for... Oh, yeah, yeah. Thought I missed that. Okay, we actually have only four solar panels left over. Nice. Uh, and now we've got energy beams, which do, in fact... Slowly damage. It didn't actually make as dramatic of a difference as I thought. But uh, the spawners that are slightly further away do actually take a little bit of damage instead of just regenerating all of it. Good, started a new map on Pi. Oh no. Sepulzniak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rebots being slow, no power in the suit. Uh, no, I was more commenting that... Uh, that the bots will hesitate to jump out and do something. Uh, it gets really bad if you have... Like, like, this is... Let me show you what not to do. Don't do this. And just leave this here when you're not using it. Because, believe it or not, all these ghosts here, even on separate surfaces, uh, will slow the bots down from, like, reacting to ghosts that they need to build. So don't leave uh, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of tile ghosts lying around, if you can help it. Alright, let's go back to Hagen Orbit. It's repathing them all? Well, the bots don't exactly path, but they get dispatched in waves, uh, as you might have noticed, um, when there's lots of stuff to do. And, like, I think, I, I think the game just spends only up to a certain amount of CPU power or something, like, giving the bots orders so that it doesn't noticeably slow the game down. Uh, and eventually they just get less and less responsive to, you can see it really clearly here, I'll, I'll, I'll do a demo. What do I want to add? Uh, some nice flooring too. How about... How about we try some black reinforced concrete, concrete for this block? So we're gonna send our big uh, tile train over here. And we're gonna wait for inactivity like a whole minute because Otherwise, it can be really unreliable. They're probably in a global bot queue. Yeah, something like that. Ian Nua, LSF, welcome in. Could you please say how bulk rail loaders affect UPS? Uh, well, according to Mike Lat, who did some experiments, 
just having really big containers is actually not good for UPS. Even if you do limit them like this, it doesn't have an effect. However, compared to the complicated unloaders that I had last playthrough, this is far, far, far simpler, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't really need any circuitry. Like, uh, like compared to what I had before, this is very, very, very UPS unintensive. Um, I would have up to 48 stack filter inserters with uh, arithmetic combinators getting an average of each different resource across uh, 24 or 48 chests. Uh, and suffice to say, that stuff adds up when you have one of those for every unloader station. As opposed to this. Here, just put drop stuff into this container and then into this container. I mean, obviously this is just one resource that we're dropping off here, but as you can see, the more complicated drop-offs end up being a lot simpler. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see the bots getting sent out here in pseudo-random waves, as opposed to being as responsive as they possibly could be. You might have also noticed if you start or stop your jetpack, the bots will suddenly respond. Kimmy GW, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is because the ghosts are in a global queue and massive blueprints will fill that queue up. Yes, that's what I, that's about what I thought. The ghosts then get iterated over each update. If the queue is too large per update, it'll take a couple to iterate over the entire queue. If I recall correctly, it will check 600 requests per update. So what? Wouldn't that be like 600 times 60 updates per second? You would think they would all react within a second if, it, if it's checking 36,000 per second. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, you can certainly see it here quite clearly that the bots are not all just doing what they should be doing uh, without hesitation. Hi, I can't wait to play the... DLC? Factorio DLC? Soon TM? I haven't actually been keeping up with the news. I prefer to not look forward to these things, and if it's good, it's a pleasant surprise. I actually need the train to go get more stuff first. Even though I thought I measured it perfectly to be able to fill a block. Soon TM indeed. Machine Freak, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Cyber Gaia, welcome in also. Alright, what are we focusing on next? And why do I have infrared observation frames in my inventory? Did we clean this stuff up? think we did. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to fix this personally. Handcrafting is taking a little longer than I thought. Um, maybe I can just get the auto-crafter to make a few warehouses. Where do we even have the... Oh, here it is. Buffer storehouse. Warehouse. There we go. That should make sure we always have at least one. Or 
probably get it done before I'm done handcrafting. Yep. <laughs> there it goes. Literally several seconds before I finished handcrafting one buffer warehouse. Even though there's like a th up to 30 second delay on updating the recipes uh, for this autocrafter thing, that's why it's going beyond the request of just one of these. Oh yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna steal some data cards. Wait, don't tell me they got taken somewhere. They did. We've only got 800 now. Oh, that's where they went. Nice. That's our first half trainload of AI cores. I'm gonna go steal some. Nom 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 nom. Uh, I might just borrow this guy, but we'll have him park over here. And... And then head back to this small stop upstairs. The only downside of borrowing this train um, to taxi around like this is I could accidentally send it um, has to be a better way than this. Uh, I could accidentally send it up or down the space elevator. Oh, let's go back. Uh, I forgot to count... Wait... I forgot to count how many AI cores I need. We need 50 for each advanced research server. Oh no, that's 24 times 50. Alligator, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I need 1200. Do we even have 1200? We do. Um... Maybe I should put a bulk rail unloader here. Nah, that's fine. I think I will not be always wanting to empty this. And go. And go. All cargo and passenger present. There we go. Alright. Um, why are we not emptying the train? I can... I can force the train to empty? And then we should end up with... 49 bots in each cargo wagon and nothing else. Oops. Let me just shove in some other stuff here. No, no, don't die. Okay. There we go. Bring this back. And back to the mall we go. And we should have just enough to make... Uh, as far as I know, the only thing that actually needs advanced research servers. Although I would like to replace all of these with advanced research servers at some point, just for the hell of it. Well, not just for the hell of it. Um, it does take a very long time to make a trainload of... Uh, of catalogs, even if we've already got the materials. The data cards. 
And I did build it so that we could put in... the bigger, badder research servers. Alright, 8i core goes in here. And whitelist it. And there it is. We are making advanced research servers. Beautiful. Very cool. Apparently we're... Our bots are struggling to keep up right now. I don't think we're out of storage space. Oh, it's probably got something to do with resetting this uh, train every time it deconstructs something. Did we get the right bot count? We did, so it should load properly. What about over here? What? Um... I have to admit, that was not quite what I expected. That's okay. Let's try again. Oh, this isn't connected, that's why. Wait, what? It, it is, though? Probably these are not connected down the line. Oh, it's so much harder to see the, the wires at this angle. It looks like they are connected. This part's connected. It's got the construction bots. Why are we only loading construction bots in one cargo wagon? Uh, so it is connected, it knows what's in the train. It would have to, otherwise it wouldn't have stopped here. The top one isn't connected to the others? That's what I'm thinking. Something like that. It's so much harder to see at this angle. Also, it seems to be cycling. Yeah, that's more what I was expecting to happen if, uh... If it, if it put all of the construction bots in one cargo wagon. Okay, it's definitely not getting the signal up here. Why not? Probably because I didn't connect that red wire? Shouldn't that have been copy-pasted? Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, that one for some reason was already there. All right. So now if we if we do this and come back in, hopefully it will load the bots properly. Why did we just not empty when the train got back? What? Why? How? What? 
how is it that these are all getting the construction bot filter and these this one and this one do it what not none oh i know what i have to connect it's this little Somewhere or other. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up here. I think it's these ones do have the connection. That green wire right there tells the extra inserters not to pick up construction bots, basically. And for some reason, we've now stopped at zero. Second from bottom row? Yeah, indeed. Alright, uh, can we reset this again? Oh, I can just... Wait, what? Okay. C is true. We are outputting 196 construction bots. Which, now this thing is receiving the negative million cons construction bots. How? How How the bloody, bloody, bloody hell is this? Did I accidentally connect this when I wasn't supposed to? Yeah, it's supposed to have the red wire connected not to the construction bots. How the... How, what, how did this happen? And then the green wire... Uh, only goes to these ones. And that should actually work. So now it's going to get imbalanced, and then... And then... Oh my lord. Oh, it's because there's not enough bots in the container when it gets started, so they're not in sync. The wiring might actually be correct now. Why are you like this? What have I done to deserve this? Okay, so at least... We've got only these four trying to insert bots. Yeah, it's... Why do we never have enough construction bots in these chests? How many do we have? 500. And this one is requesting like a hundred each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, okay. I mean, we should only need half of that in theory, but... Turns out we actually need more bots to make sure that part's saturated so that when the inserters swing, they always find bots. Alright. Could you wait over here, please. And then? Are we gonna make some more construction bots? Circuit hell? <laughs> That's what happens sometimes when you make complex systems. Stack size override correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically... Um... 
What I ended up settling for over here, the reason I have 49 construction bots as opposed to 50, is... Well, pretend it's 48 for a moment. I'll explain the extra one in a moment. Uh, but basically, when the train is empty and we start loading construction bots, uh, I just don't control the stack size for putting construction bots in. Um, because the extra wiring and combinators it would take just for that, it, it doesn't fit very well. Uh, so basically we put in 12, 24, 36, 48 construction bots uh, in each cargo wagon. So I set the, because we've got three cargo wagons, I set the limit to uh, 144. Uh, but the reason it's three higher than that, one for each cargo wagon, is just signal timing. The, um, the, the S for stack size doesn't reach the inserter by the time it does its first swing to put bots into the wagon. Uh, so instead of trying to control that, I just embraced it and said, okay, go for 49. Uh, so since we have four cargo wagons here, it should be um, 196. Did I... why doesn't that sound familiar? Because my brain no worky? Because apparently I did set everything to 196 here? So that sh should work just fine. We've got 100 bots in each buffer warehouse now, so this should work if we haven't missed another wire somewhere. It's going to empty it, or it's going to try to put in bots and then it's going to empty it, and then it's going to cycle and do the same stupid thing over and over again. What number is it getting to? 198. How did it... how did it get to 198? Uh, we don't have any flying robot frames right now. I think those are delivered by train. Or not? No, I think they're made on the spot. Where's our thing for flying robot frames? Here it is. Oh my goodness, that's going to take some time to catch up. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, that's got its work cut out for it. Okay. Alright. Have some... Have some speed modules and maybe a beacon if I can fit it somewhere where it's not gonna make beacon sickness happen. Um, but yeah, we I mean, we should have enough bots by now. Let's see. So once we have more than... Well, let, let's set this higher, see how far it goes. Before it stops putting bots in. What are we up to? 800? What? You what? Why are you still putting... What? Where? What the? Where? That's if. I just. Hang on. Did it stop? 1.1k. What does that even have to do with anything? It's not that I have to set this to like the amount per wagon or something. What? No, it's still trying to input bots. Did I forget to... No? Read train contents. Did I not wire this to something? No? 
Hold up. I think I think I know. I think I know what wire is missing here. We're not subtracting the train contents. Well, th well, there's your problem. Wait, that's times one. That is that right? Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, so now it's cycling endlessly because why? Also, why do we have a locomotive signal on this filter? Did that happen downstairs after I changed it? No? Oh, it's hard to tell because uh, we don't have the... No, it... Oh, yeah, it did, it did. I, I should probably change that back to a red signal. Okay. Red signal... And... Red signal for train ID. That should be fine. It just needs to be something that... Can't set the filter on... on a filter inserter. Okay. So... Well, that's an improvement. Now I imagine if we overload it... Oh, wait. Uh, if this is greater than 196... We overload it, it'll empty, and then put bots in, and it works! We got there eventually. So now we just need to tell it what we want in each cargo wagon. Uh, it's going to be less likely to cause problems if I put only one type... Uh, each type of item in only one cargo wagon. But this is the scaffolding train, so I'd rather just go for it. What science are you on currently? Um, let's see. Bio 3, Astro 3, Energy 3, and Material 3. Uh, and we've done... We've done the design work for Energy 1 and 2. Uh, we may now have the advanced... We've got 49 advanced research servers. Let's go. Why do we not have tier 2 flat solar panels? Did I break something? Was this supposed to be in the same... No, surely not. Uh, what's What's going on here? Where, where are you trying to take that? What? That, that's the same... But that's the same rail network. What? Oh, the same robo network, rather. Encoded network ID a 2. Versus 1. What's this one set to? 2 as well. Okay, there we go. Just just drop it off. Uh, and I wonder if that's all it's going to take to fix that. Okay. Now, how much uh how much does advanced research service stack to? 25. More than enough. I think we're finished with the regular research servers. Let's bring in the advanced ones. And then... Park our train over here. And we will soon have... Well, 
I didn't actually make any of the data card builds. I mean, I did, but we need uh, material fabricators. And the reason we don't have those is we're waiting for tier 6 modules. Six, uh, 5 energy and 5 efficient. Uh, sorry, 5 efficiency, 5 speed at tier 6 for each one. We have not made any tier 6s because I haven't yet taken machine learning data and a bunch of catalogs downstairs. I don't think I've made a build for Vitalik Epoxy either. Um, but we need that for prod modules and we don't actually need the prod modules... Technically. At least not yet. I mean, we want them eventually, but it's going to cost a lot, and I do mean a lot, of Vitamelange. And we're still catching up on that. Uh, but yeah, I need to make... Let's see. One, two, three, uh, four, five, I think... Yeah, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 trains to bring space stuff down just for the just for the high tier module builds. Or build rather. That's gonna be fun. Let's do the efficiency first since uh there's no I still haven't fixed the solid fuel. Where are we even getting it now? We might have deleted it entirely. Solid fuel. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we stopped making solid fuel. Period. And that's why we're not making uh, speed modules at the moment. Where should I get solid fuel from? So many squirrels. Light oil, petroleum, or heavy. I think the most efficient way to do it is light oil, right? I could add a light oil drop off up here and we could just make it on the spot. I can't think of a single other thing we need solid fuel for. Uh, unless we want to make those fancy fuels, but if we do that, I think I'll just deliver light oil and convert it on the spot. Just like we're going to do here. Can I fit an advanced chemical plant nearby? Uh, sort of? We can make it work and then uh, large storage tank don't need a whole lot of it I don't think tell me that's gonna fit it's not Ravna do it like over this way, I guess. Nah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just do a little zigzag here. And go. And request light oil. Just clicked here. I don't need a search to find light oil. And let's bring over our construction train right about here. Uh, and we'll need some rod modules in this thing. There we go. Solid. Wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Um, what can I use to make solid fuel? A fuel refinery and nothing else. 
Okay. In that case, I can probably fit it much closer. Fuel ref. Unfortunately, we can only use three prod modules, but what are you going to do? I just realized we don't have fuel refineries in the construction train. Um, is everything else okay? Probably. We need some proper power poles here. Can't quite put it where I would like. Let's start by removing the old power poles. I'm pretty sure there's nothing connected to... There's, there's no, like, circuit wires connected this way, right? No, I think we're good. And just put this here, I guess. It's fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. And then go back and get that fuel refinery. Which is just going to put solid fuel in a passive provider. Is that going to be under the beacon? Hmm. Bring it down here, I guess. That doesn't fit, does it? Move this over a little bit, why not? There we go. Why are we not getting... Oh, I see. Request threshold for fluid. 60k. I just realized I put one in as a negative earlier, which doesn't actually matter. It'll just take the absolute value. But where was that? Where I was requesting water? I think it was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be 60k. It doesn't actually make a difference, but consistency. And here comes our light oil. We're going to need some... What is this? Six and four? Oh, I see. Just once, we're going to need some fuel refineries, or just one, actually. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We finally found you today. After, what, can I, is it still here? No. Uh, after like six million moons, we finally found the planet Morpheus. Click a train, not a station? Wait, what? Uh, Nack Worstman? Worstman? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rocco, welcome in also. Beautiful factory, thank you. At UPS, it'll get a bit better when we clean up some stuff. Okay. Let's park over here again, and that's probably all we need. And prod modules, for good measure. Light oil to solid, and we're good. Fantastic. So how fast is this? Almost three per second versus... Uh, 11.3 per second. <laughs> We'll see how many speed threes we actually need, though. Well, wait a sec. If I only need, like, four of these... Yeah, I literally just need four. Hmm. I think I might need another robo-port. 
over this way somewhere. As long as it doesn't touch any other robot networks. Um, and I should be able to fit... Yeah, this will do. Let's just put our pipes over here. This guy can go here, and then we'll put this here, and like so. Construction train on a guy. Mach schnell bitte. Oh, I only brought one. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I only brought one, um... Fuel refinery at a time. Whoops. Apparently we didn't bring any more. Whatever. Hurry up and fix this. Should have just done that in the first place. There we go. And then we can get rid of this again. Because we don't need fuel refineries very often. Cool, so that should be a good ratio. Huh? Wait, what? What? Oh, I thought there were only four... God damn it. I thought there were only four machines making uh, speed... Uh, tier 1 speed modules, but it's actually six. Whoopsie daisy. We actually need like 17 per second. So, six of these? Right. That figures. How about I move you guys up one? And then? We may not be able to fit this right here, but that should be fine. Alright. Once again, two fuel refineries, please. Wait, was it two? Yeah, it's it's two. And do another drive-by. There we go. All right, how's our ratio? Solid fuel, slightly positive. Fantastic. Wait, why is this still got... Oh, there we go. I need to fix the... speed module requests. Make it like 250. Actually, no, we don't usually spam speed modules down here. Rub modules, rather. That's a bit better. Okay. Guess we've got some catching up to do there. Now, what... What was the other chain of things that I needed to fix that I just noticed? How much scaffolding do we need for... Hmm. 
more to the point, how much can we fit? We've got 39 stacks times 4. 156. What if we split it down the middle? 78 stacks of uh, each type. Oh, I need to divide that by 4 as well. 1,950. Let's just call it 1,900. And plating. And that'll be each one of these. And we'll probably need to produce more just so we have the reserve where it's supposed to go. I would suggest to do mod, indeed. That was related to the first message. Is the station picker when you click a train a vanilla feature? I've never noticed. Or oh, part of some mod. Oh, you mean when I click on the station and find a train like this? Or, or like the other way around? Is the station picker when you click a train... Oh, this thing? Uh, I, I only noticed it this playthrough, I think, but I didn't know if it was vanilla or not. You're thinking about how to supply advanced module production. Oh yeah, uh, I'm not looking forward to this part. It's going to, it's going to be a little tedious and repetitive. All right, let's do the machine learning data first. We do have already a block. Oh, please tell me we have enough that I don't have to make another one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Things that we can bring down the space elevator without new infrastructure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rip in pepperonis. Since I'm not as much in a rush to get the prod modules. Let's do the efficiencies. Uh, machine learning data, energy one and energy two. That's three. And then material one, two, three, four. So five, six, seven. Yeah, we've got just enough to do everything but the prod modules. So let's do that. I'll do on the right side, catalog one and two. Catalog one, catalog two. Material one. So this is all going down the space elevator. Hence this icon here. Uh, broad catalog. Comprehensive catalog. And extended catalog. And then there's also machine learning data. It was there in point five. I'll have to take your word for it. All right. Um, this stacks the same. So this can be machine learning data greater than 5k. Uh, this one's also going to be the same. They're all going to be the same stack size, actually. Catalog 1. Catalog 2. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I can do it this way. I'm going to limit the front to significantly less than one cargo wagon. Because the catalogs are kind of precious. Um, 
I'm not as worried about machine learning data. But we won't have to... Huh. Uh, we won't need to send trains down with this stuff very often, so I don't care if they take slightly longer to load. But this way we make sure... If there's a hundred stacks of broad material catalog here, we don't have to worry about some of it being stuck on the belt. We won't have to set like a higher provide threshold. Okay. And the rest of these can uh, can be unlimited. All right, so catalog three, catalog four, catalog one, and catalog two. And then we need to do our station names. Um, how about how about this? Should have done this in the blueprint. First of all. That should go there. This one is already like that. Alright. Catalog one. For energy. Catalog one for energy. Catalog two for energy. And... Catalog two for energy. Uh, what am I doing? We're, we're definitely only going to have one train to take each of these down. So I don't think we need to have them visit the depot um, before they go to their drop-off. They can come to the depot upstairs just to get refueled. In fact, I could probably just avoid putting a train limit on these ones. That might actually make more sense for this. Because then we've got fewer depot stops held up. Which we're kind of running out of at the moment. Uh, I'll leave the... Um... That's the only thing the circuitry does here is controls the train limit enable train limit not uh i guess i don't really need to disconnect the wires i can just switch off enable train limit set train limit Okay. And then update the names. Yeah, I really don't care if this is the resting place of the one train that, uh, that does this cycle. Oh, it's going to be fun checking all of these. This one's done, this one's done, this one's done, this one's... Not done, actually, because they all have Energy Catalog 1 for a name now. Energy 2. Energy 1. Fantastic. Uh, this will be Machine Learning Data. And then, catalog one, catalog two, catalog three, and catalog four. And 
the requesters. Uh, I should probably start in the same place. Catalog one. Catalog two. Where is it? Catalog three. And at last, catalog four. So we should now be able to make our trains that will transfer these things. Oh, I just realized I kind of want to be able to... Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to have to have a thing down below. I just realized everything we've got so far that comes from space uh, down to the surface, we're using vanilla trains because there's only like one consumer for them, whether it's core fragments or scrap. But now I run into the first item where I actually want uh, Energy 1 catalog. I want it to be able to go to our tier 3... Hmm. I want it to go to our tier 4 through 6... Well, 4 through 6, 7, 8. Um, I want it to go to this build. But I also want it to go to the mall. So that we could make um, wide area beacon 2s down here. But, is that the only one that I need in more than two places on the ground? Uh, more than one place, rather? Probably? Yeah, I don't really want to build a dedicated block like I've got upstairs. To drop off items from vanilla schedule and give it to LTN. I don't want to. I don't want to build a whole block for this if there's literally one item that's going to behave that way. Uh, I could even drop it straight into the mall, and then have the mall train deliver these catalogs over here. Which would happen automatically, as long as we have 150 stacks. I think I will do that. I need to move that, that tank. Where am I right now? Let's go down to the mall with one button press. Very, very convenient indeed. Uh, and let's not have a train run over our tank. Probably a good idea. And then... I'll just put a requester station here, which will have... Encoded network ID 1. Right about... Here should be fine. Actually, put it forward a little bit just so we can see the stop. Nah, uh, it's fine. I want it closer to the middle. I changed my mind. God, it's so nice to be able to just look at the map and then appear at the mall. Okay. And then, and then, um, I could use bulk rail unloaders, but then I'd have to move this. Oh, I can do that. 
bulk rail unloader and we're gonna read from the roboport actually can I make this reach that that should work uh, and the only thing we're requesting here is energy catalog one I want to aim for 200 stacks. So 10k. Two train loads, in other words. When we've got a train load and a half, um, LTN will pick up catalogs from here and take them to this build. Uh, and the rest can be used to make wide area beacons. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, catalog one requester. Mall. Oh, what am I doing? Info. That's my icon I like to use to, to indicate the mall. Oops. There we go. Wait, this isn't an LTN drop-off. Derp. We don't need the wires or anything. Uh, we just need a regular train stop. Although I would like it to have the requester colors. Even though I can hardly even see it. Okay, so once again, energy catalog quester for the mall. Uh, and I guess we should have some wires because... Well, where do I want the decision making for this? We've got tons of slots over here still, actually. Yeah, this is fine. We'll have the train wait at uh, at the vanilla depot down here. All right. Although, I do kind of want... Actually, a really simple way I could do it is just have storage boxes filtered for energy catalog 1 here. If I want two train loads, uh, that's 200 stacks. Which means I need more than four storage chests. Hmm. No, why don't why don't I do it this way? I'll put them here where we can see them. Probably move these into space anyway. And that's gonna be energy catalog one only. So that's ninety six stacks right there. Right? Oh, double that, sorry. 192. So we need 8 stacks. Well, I don't need to, like, limit this, but we're not going to read from the storage chests. We're just going to say train limit is 1 if we've got less than 8 stacks. Um, so 400. If energy catalog less than 400... In the big containers. Then... Train limit. Well, let's use this for train limit. Energy catalog is train limit. Set train limit energy catalog. If there's less than 400, allow the train to park here. 
put the rest in the storage chests. 196 stacks all up. More than enough to trigger LTN requesting them. And more than enough to have some in reserve to make wide area beacons. Cool. Now let's make a train. Cargo wagon. And your schedule is going to say... Go here. And then go up the space elevator. And then go to... Energy Catalog 1 Provider for Vanilla Trains. Wait till full. Wait till empty here. Um, skip the depot upstairs. Come down the space elevator. Go to depot. What's that depot stop even called? Vanilla train stop depot 2. Seems good. Wait for inactivity. And that should be it. Did we already get energy catalogs dropped off up here? We did not, because I didn't set a request. Actually, I left it set with a request for scrap. Whoopsie-daisy. Um, so, energy catalog one. Should be on its way immediately. Fantastic. How are you holding up? Feeling a bit better, thanks. Petrie Cottontail, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and yeah, that should be it. So we got catalogs heading over right now. And... Now we'll see if this thing picks up the way I imagined. I kind of want this to be down here. So up the elevator, pick up, down the elevator, uh, depot, drop off. That's kind of makes more sense. Oh no, I didn't give it stuff yet. No, 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 no. We're wasting fuel. And I'm going to need the rest, actually. Let's take it back to the mall for a second. Right about here should be fine. It's so slow. The poor thing. Don't worry, we'll make you all better. My inventory is full. Uh, is that enough? I think it's enough. There we go. And... There we go. Okay. Maybe I should just dump everything. I feel like there's going to be something or other I am forgetting, though. Okay. Back up the spellivator we go.
Oh. Wait, no, that should be fine. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, no. I just realized I'm going to need a multi... I'm going to need something like this, but on the ground anyway. Because we've got a multi drop-off. Uh, so I can't, like, control the train limit for trains delivering different things here. There's way too many different things for this build to have vanilla trains drop stuff off. I am going to have to... Well, that was a little bit pointless. Did this not load up properly? Why do we have... What? Why are we... Why are we 20 energy catalogs short? Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, uh, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? How is, o uh, how is Oni? Why on earth... Where did... Where did 20 catalogs go? Did... Did the train initially deliver... Slightly less than a train load of catalogs? Or... How? What? I'm very confused. She's full-blown addicted. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I built a sky house. A sky house? Like, in space? Or... This had to have train limit... Oh, we didn't enable the train limit. Right, I forgot. So, LTN did deliver less than 100 stacks. Has to be. Right? How the bloody hell did that happen? so weird. In space, I didn't quite get everyone moved in, but it's almost ready. Nice. Treehouse in space. Oh, wait, I needed to get in the tr- oh, that could have killed me. Okay. Well, other than that very strange occurrence, uh, it seems like this is going to be working pretty well. But yeah, ultimately making that stop to take it straight to the mall was a little bit pointless. Because I am going to need to make a vanilla train to LTN drop-off thing for these several types of catalogs and stuff. Unless I can fit them all here, and I seriously doubt that. What are we looking for? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different items that we need to bring down the space elevator. Uh, I don't think I'm fitting 10 double brain stops, you know? I don't know how I would do that. The abject confusion in your voice is a balm to my soul. At least I'm not suffering alone, indeed. Alright. I guess... Can we confirm that those... Uh... I'm going to have to click through a lot of them. Can we confirm that those other catalogs and stuff don't get used for anything else on the ground? 
learning data. Uh, optimization tech card is only in space. Yeah, so that's a yes. And then we've got all four uh, mechanical catalog material, that is. Thruster suit mark two, we can just do that manually. I think we already have that actually. Catalog two. That's a yes. Catalog three. Thruster suit three, that's fine. Uh, catalog four. Uh, what am I doing? Looks like the answer's yes. Now, energy catalog one, we already did, actually. Catalog two. Correct. Now, bio catalogs one, two, and three. Thruster suit mark three. And then, bio catalog two. Only goes into prod six. And then, catalog three. Only goes into prod seven. Okay, cool. I think I'll just use this block right here to drop off our, uh, what was it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I fit nine? Well, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the same shape as this, so I'm pretty sure, yes, I can. Maybe I could even... Hmm... Hmm... Maybe there is a place that I could fit these in the one block. All right, we're taking this to the editor. I unlocked space rails, but I'm still using normal rails in space. Wait, what? Or well, normal trains in space, I'm guessing. Yeah, I misread it, lol. Okay, welcome in. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Is the Space Trains a mod? Yeah, it's, uh... What mod is it again? I think it's just its own mod. S.E. Space Trains. That's what it's called. Okay, so... These fit here kind of cozily. Very cosily, actually. We've already got energy one coming in from the rail, from LTN. Uh, and we just need... Whoops. We just need... How should I go about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one of the energy catalogs are not needed. Let me do a standard drop off. Well, not with LTN. It doesn't light. What the? Oh. Wait, what? That was weird. 
Uh, I just wanted the colors. Can we fit nine of these? I could use these spaces. Yeah, that should be okay. So that's six. And I could always go like seven, eight, nine. It's a little sketch, but... Is it really that bad? I wish I could make it a little neater. What, how much of a corner do we need? That's the bare minimum corner, right? We can definitely make this work, it's just going to look a bit budge. I'd kind of like to match up the drop-offs with the things that they are a pickup for. What's the ratio here? One to one? Yeah. So it doesn't really matter... Which stations are these? That makes sense. Actually, can I fit three of these over here? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? One, two, three. We could do this. Oof. Oof, owie. Literally one off. I, I could move the build over a little bit. What if I did that? Give me that buffer chest back. That's slightly wonky now, but whatever. It's probably fine. Can I actually make that fit? Sort of? No? Yes, but... Kind of? Uh... I don't know if you already fixed it. I'm with... Today's VOD, Palusal, welcome in. What what did I... Emergency drop-off system for the spaceships, and I saw the constant signal of left clamp of one is directly fed to the console. Yeah, I figured it out earlier, actually. May say to the ship not also to add to the signal of the memory cell. No, it does add it up. The problem is... Um, when a ship gets back... When it receives the negative one distance signal, that means we've arrived. But it's always receiving the anchor to target left clamp one from the constant combinator. The rest of it, the plus five over here so that we get target left clamp six, uh, is on the memory cell, which doesn't get passed through until we reach our destination. Uh, and there's a whatever slight delay there. So that's working perfectly because this is... Wait, what? What? Surely a ship just, just took off from here, right? Also, why is this called direct corrects? I... Well, I was going to say... I was going to say the reason that this thing would land here uh, at clamp ID 1 
if it was available, was because there would be a slight delay where we're not receiving the plus five from this one when the ship first gets here. But, um, maybe there's some randomness to that? Thank you for the follow, Abathian. Welcome in. Night Dancer, welcome also. Can you build a giant ship? Oh yes, very much so. Did I miss anything in chat? Aren't you using one train car? But picking up the very expensive modules, yes. Not so much for... Uh, I guess I could. It's a bit late now, but I was going to say not so much for the um, energy catalogs and such. Okay. Can I cram all of this into one block and not make it look completely horrifying? Maybe I will just put it all on this side. So we've got the uh, speed 6, 7, 8, prod 6, 7, and energy 6 pickups here. We'll have their respective drop-offs for the one unique item that they need over here, I think. Um, and that'll have to be set to... I think I'll do it this way. I think I'll need a decider combinator for each of these. For the train limits. And I'm just going to set that to whichever unique uh, thing is running low. How, mu how much did I request in the first place? Barely more than one train load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that should be fine. We're only having one train cycle each of these anyway. Um, I don't need the drop-off for Energy 1 because LTN is going to take care of that. So we've got six of these. We need three more. I could just put them, like, down here, I think. Probably. I think we need a little bit too much corner. It's going to work, it's just going to look wonky. Also, I guess I can put these back where they were. Mm, can I actually put that there? Oh no, I would have to move the... No. No, please don't make me move the... Oh, it's already off-center. Huh. Okay. I still have to move it. Really? Really, really? Fine. Uh, if that was a fluid drop-off, it might cause problems, but it should be fine for a solid drop-off. Now, now this looks weird. Why don't we have these line up? And then we can put the deciders over here, I guess. So 
So how many is this? Nine drop-offs. Yeah, that should be all we need. Uh, and then this doesn't have to go quite so far up, actually. Oh no. That's fine. Okay, deciders. I want it to look to be uniform and readable. That's pretty decent. I guess I may as well uh, be able to see what's on... what's in the robot network with the mouse over. And then don't forget green wire down here. All right. Um, so for each of these, we're only looking for 5K, right? Well, let's just say if catalog less than 1,000 Enable train limit. And I'm using energy one because that's actually the only one we don't need down here. All right. So I was going to say I want this to line up so that the thing that we need for speed 6, which is catalog 2. Yeah, 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 we can do that. That's fine. Material catalog 2. And this will be... Material catalog to requester. I think I'll put a vanilla train stop to show we're not using LTN here. Whoops. Not quite what I was expecting. Okay. Uh, and we need some... We've already got uh, the active providers. Okay. Uh, what's this one? Speed 7. Wait, what? Did I... Oh no, it's, um... Wait, what? I think I miscalculated something. Because we only need the tier 6s and the highest tier to go to space, right? Tier 7... Tier 8. Tier 8 goes to space because we want to make tier 9s. Tier 7 gets picked up because why? I don't think I want to bother with anything between the multiples of 3 for the modules. To actually put them in machines. So some of these are unnecessary. Well, one of them is unnecessary, to be precise. Uh, which means I kind of want to bring these over. Which means this looks awkward. 
Whatever. It's probably fine. Alright, so... Uh, module 8 needs catalog 4. But now we're not, like, putting them in in order. Heresy. I guess we'll have to live with it. Bio catalog 2 goes here. I'll fix the station names in a bit. Uh, and then... Bio catalog 3 goes here. And last but not least, for the stuff that we're actually picking up from here, Energy 6 needs broad energy catalog. Seems good. We're going to be going through a lot more machine learning data, so that drop-off should probably be nice and close. So we need Two tiers of mechanical... I think I'll put them here. Just so they're all next to each other at the very least. Uh, and this one's already set to... Mechanical 2, actually. Okay. That's kind of wonky. Maybe I should just drop them off in order. There's no real reason for these to be lined up with what they go into, since it's just active providering. And this one's already cat catalog four. Fantastic. Uh, so then we've got. Machine learning data over here. Oops. And don't forget the signal. Set train limit. Catalog 1, catalog 2, catalog 3, catalog 4. That doesn't say catalog 4 up here. Catalog 3, Catalog 2, and Catalog 1. Fantastic. That just leaves three tiers of bio... Wait, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bio 2. This one's bio three. Oh god damn it. And this should be bio one. All right, let's double check. That seems good. That seems good. That seems good. That's catalog three, right? Yes. Fantastic. Catalog four. Bio one. Bio two. Bio three. And energy two. Which. Eh, it's fine. Maybe I should put it like over here.
Nah, I think it's going to look even weirder that way. I could move all the machines further to the left. Nah, this is fine. This is fine. Energy catalog 2. And energy catalog 2. Oh. Cool. And the robot network can reach it all. Fantastic. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's how... Can we just paste this in, or what do I need to change? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff on the map. Okay, we obviously need to get rid of the old train stops, but is that all? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Let's just paste it in like this. And... Lighted pylon substation is in the way. That seems fine. Cool. What, what, what did... Oh, I see what happened there. Everything... Everything's fine. Nothing is ruined. It's just going to have to empty repeatedly. Why are we putting... Why are we putting poles in before the... What? 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 Okay. Are we good now? Yes? Oh no. That's because they were building stuff over here. Okay. Oh my goodness, indeed. So the idea is if the bot count goes above what it's supposed to be, it resets the whole train because we can't tell which cargo wagons have more bots. But uh, the build is in range of the construction train right now. What if I just remove the ghosts? And then we'll wait till the train is loaded. Oh my god, why? What? Why have you done this? Stop this madness. It's not like there's not room to take the bots out. Okay, is it loading now? There we, there we go. There we go. Are we done? Not quite. Much schnell bitte. It loads a lot faster when it only needs to make an adjustment though. All oh, right, we don't have the speed modules. This is fine for now. Just park over here, please. And then... Build. Yes. May not have brought enough... Uh, bulk rails... To do it in one. Oh well. It's probably going to do the dance of emptying and reloading the train over and over. The moment that we get, uh. Yeah, the moment one of the stack inserters puts 10 bulk rail unloaders in. Here it goes already. 
Or rather, the moment the bots get back, it's going to reset. Yeah. Okay, well, that's basically done anyway. We need to make some new trains. Um, nine of them, in fact. Oh boy, okay. First things first. And... Wait, wait, what? What am I doing? There we go. Uh, which schedule is this going to be? Let's go left to right. So you're going to go and get... Uh, AI data, basically. Machine learning data. Empty cargo... Up and down the elevator. So we're going to go up the elevator. We're going to go get the machine le data. Learning data. There we go. We're going to go up the elevator. We're going to go pick that up. We're going to come down the elevator. We're going to drop it off. And I think we only really need a depot stop. Well, let me just shift click it so I know that this is the right one. I think we only really need them to, to wait at this end. Wait for inactivity. Up the elevator, pick stuff up, down the elevator, go to depot, wait for train limit and drop stuff off. Seems good. We've got our fuel and stuff. Let's go for a ride and make sure it works. It looks like only one inserter is loading per wagon. Is that intended? Basically, yes. The other inserters kick in when there's more than 72 items uh, of a type that need to be added. I could make it smarter than that, but... Oh. Oh, I never set the request for this, that's why. Well, that makes it... I, I, hold on, I kind of want to test this this time. Wait here till full cargo, actually. Alright. Uh, we need... One train load of machine learning data, if you please. Thank you. How fast do we make this stuff? 18 per second. It's kind of somewhat fast. Alright, so what I want to test here is if we leave like 20 stacks unfilled, that should be way more than enough. If there's precisely... Oh, wait a sec. Huh. That would actually not trigger the train limit. Good thing we're not using those. Um, but yeah, if there's precisely a train load of this stuff here, we should be able to get the whole train load into this one without worrying about some of it getting stuck on the belt if we limit this quite a bit more. It actually takes more than a second to move one stack through here, so I think I'm do I think I'm going overkill with those 20 stacks. Let's see exactly how overkill. I guess I should have looked here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's taking a minute. <laughs> We can 
probably be a little bit less conservative with that. Probably like five stacks is way more than enough, actually. But there's not going to be a whole lot of throughput with these, so... Okay, what the hell? It happened again. How are we exactly 20 short? What? We were 20 energy catalogs short. And now we're 20 machine learning data short. We have energy two, yes? Actually, I kind of want to try this with a less valuable one in case it's deleting it somehow. Let's go machine, uh, sorry, mechanical uh, material catalog one. So our request threshold, request stack threshold is 100. Our provide stack threshold is 100. We're going to request it right here. Material catalog one. Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many hours do you have on this save? Uh, 25 days almost. I think those are stuck inside the bulk rail loader. No, you can see them if they're if they're in the bulk rail loader, which they're not. All right, so I'm gonna summon this train, and then I'll switch that off for the moment. And. Once the train is actually on its way here, I'm going to stop it and count how many... 5k. It's got 5,000. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop. So where's this train now? Right over yonder. Uh, where am I going? Here, here we go. Don't... Actually, no, this is fine. Take, take the waste away. Okay. So, nothing up my sleeve. We have exactly 5,000, uh, material catalogs here. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go put that piece of rail back. They... They took it, didn't they? No, no, I've got it. It's, it's fine. Okay, cool, cool. Um, we're going to put this rail back. We don't have a train to pick this up right now. And it's going to go into these containers. And... Apart from the, I think, 24 that are going to be on this belt. We should still have 5,000 here. Should. Actually, I'm just going to unlimit this container. It'll all end up in here. All right. I guess it takes two minutes, actually. Uh, let me just put the limit back. Okay, so... Once this is emptied... We got 2,000 in here. We've got... 2.9 thousand. 
and we're just missing 12, like I said. Uh, how can I... Hmm. I'm trying to flow this part back in here. I'm just going to pick it up. Okay. 2,000, 3,000. So, what is going on here? I think it works like an inserter and gets items get stuck in the hand. The the loaders. Hmm. Okay. But no, it wouldn't it just like if I unlock if I unlock this. We're going to get 5k in here. So if there's a train taking from this container... Where, where are those 20 items going? They pick an item from the loader, and if the train is full, it doesn't load it. Uh, but the train is not full, that's the problem. It gets stuck between the loader and the train. In that case, shouldn't we have exactly 5k here? Oh. We do. Huh. Yeah, we got the same numbers right here as if it was the first delivery. That means there's like... Uh, that means there's like a whole trainload of data or whatever other resource sitting, just not getting used all the time with these things. Uh, you got two loaders? Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't make that much difference in the long run. Alright, I'm gonna limit this to 40 stacks, and we're gonna use even distro to put that back. And everything is going to be just fine. Just fine. Nothing is wrong. It's all good. Why wouldn't it be? So, I guess... I, I stopped following that train, but... um. Oh, wait, did I did I set it in motion again? I must have. Yeah, here it is. Wait, let me in, let me in. Don't squish me. There we go. That was close. Wait, wait, it's empty. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. No! Come back. I think our train should... It, we, we missed it. No? No, our train should be looping. Where is it? Where is... Our machine learning data train. It has no path because I... Because there's a piece of rail missing. Okay. Okay. That's perfect, actually. Seems we're getting a bit of a traffic jam here. What's happening? It's not because of that one train, surely. Surely you just... And there's our tier five, uh, tier four modules getting started. Very nice. Now we need the... Oh, energy's almost done. We just need catalog two. Okay. Catalog two. I think we've already done the infrastructure. Uh, here we go. Oh. Where's that thing that I had to switch back on? 
Gotta log one. And then down uh, here, it's going to be catalog two. Fantastic. That should be getting delivered pretty much immediately. Why is it not getting delivered? Oh, there it goes. Catalog 2 is on the way. Catalog 3. And we don't have it yet, but catalog 4. Okay. Uh, I need to go back to make a train. Taxi! Oh. Oh, it's downstairs. Oh. Uh, other taxi? Come pick me up, please. I wonder how big spaghetti would be to play SE without using trains. Some people do it, more or less. It requires a lot of planning. And I do mean a lot. I'll make the next train from up here. I guess I can get it started already. Mm. Don't get squished. Yay. I do love the look of that power plant. Oh yeah, and we could actually use it now. We've got like three beams, but uh, four beams. We could borrow one of the other ones if we really wanted to. I'd rather keep them scorching at Nalvis for now though. One day we will be able to declare extinction, trim this thing and improve our UPS and save time. Alright, so actually it's going to be a little bit easier if I just ride it. Oh yeah, I, mm, I, keep, I kind of forgot about the, the color scheme that I wanted for the trains that go up and down the elevator, but you can hardly even see the colors on the space locomotives, so I don't really care, I guess. Let's go get... Energy catalog two, all cargo, and then go down this elevator. Uh, go up this elevator, get catalog two, go down this elevator, uh, and then we'll go to the depot. And it'll just be easier to schedule it if I write it downstairs. And again... Okay, let me, let me just learn this. Station name here is Train Stop Depot 2. Let me, let me click on your base. There we go. Depot... Train Stop Depot 2. We're going to wait for one second inactivity, and then... No. No. Energy catalog 2... is that it? It's so hard to see. I think that's right. No, we, it needs to be the requester. And wait for empty. Let me guess, we're waiting for another... oh. 
direction we're waiting on catalogs in the first place because I forgot to request them. And go. There we go. I really wish we could change this to one second of inactivity. Or empty and inactivity would be better. Because it's easy to end up with problems where trains come back to the depot with stuff. This is going to put huge demand that wasn't there because everything was idle on our, our stuff in general. Um, it's probably going to be a while till we get the second train load of Catalog 2 because we're still on the old research servers up here. We need like two and a half thousand, almost. At 1.68 per second. Uh, that's going to be like 25 minutes, almost. I think I'll just trigger the delivery, even though we're going to be 20 short. This planet almost learned democracy, <laughs> indeed. Okay. Actually takes a surprisingly long time to load these. Uh, I think I said it was almost two minutes because of the 45 per second bottleneck here. We're almost there, though. Once it's almost full, we'll be going. Oh, it did perfectly fill up this time. What the hell? Why... Why is it sometimes different? Was it because the train was there already? Hmm... Hmm, I see. And off we go. Let's drop off energy too. And that's going to be, uh, that's going to be efficiency sixes complete. Oh, very good. We could probably start using those already. Just so we can squeeze in more speeds. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Alright, uh, so that is... Oh, we need some... We will be needing some more... Uh-oh. We will be needing some more uh, signals here. But yeah, this thing will eventually settle at the depot with a full load of uh, catalogs before it delivers here based on the train limit. Speaking of which, these two have a train limit of zero. Perfect. Perfection. Did I not set... I did. Oh, we've already got them. Yeah, we've got three tier sixes. Naisu. Okay. Uh, what's next? So we got the uh, machine learning data. We got the efficiency. We haven't done any of the other catalogs yet. Let's do the speeds first, since those are what we need for... Uh, 
uh, for our fabricators. So first, elevator. What am I doing? Um, Hagen. Up the elevator, down the elevator. Not a log. Material. One. Uh, wait till full. And then down the elevator. Wait till empty. And depot. I believe it was... Why do I have these two opposites like this? Uh, I can just add it over here. Shift click. There we go. Depot. Stop depot 2. Alright, wait for one second. So we know we're refueled. And that should be it. Let's not forget to give it equipment this time. Wait, I did give that other one equipment, right? Pretty sure I did. And off you go. It was energy two, right? I didn't give it equipment. Oh no. Um, up the elevator time. Zoom, zoom. And wait, 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 no, stop. Let me click on. Uh, please park over here. Okay. There we go. All right, back down to the downstairs mall, please. Gazownik, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry I missed your name earlier. RV Park, welcome in also. I've just been kind of immersed trying to fix these things. Zethros, welcome in as well. Okay, I think we're caught up on chat. Uh, one more... Wagon. So this one's gonna be dropping off... Did that already happen? Material 1, yeah it did. Nice. This one will drop off Material 2. It will go to the depot. It will go up and down the space elevator. Uh, it will not be doing it in that order. Material catalog 2. Uh, it's so hard to tell. I think it's this one. Right? Up the elevator, go get the catalogs, down the elevator, go to depot, wait for an activity, and come and empty. Also, I need to dump like most of these. Oh my god. <laughs> we, we may not need that many batteries. There we go. And 
I really should test it. I'm tempted to just send it on its merry way, but I better make sure. Here's a thought. Blueprint this thing and edit the other ones. Once we confirm it works. What was this? Catalog 2. I'll just put this down here. Alright. Looks like this one's going to be full immediately. Oh. It... No, this is probably the use case where it ends up 20 short. Yep. Wait. Wait, no? Yes. Yeah, 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 it's 20 short. Okay. Not that we've actually... had a bunch of catalogs disappear on us, apparently. Down the elevator we go. Check in with the depot, and... Go and drop off... The only, literally the only reason that we need all of these stops is to have a train limit that's different for the different vanilla schedules. Um, but yeah, that seems to work. Alright, let's do Material Catalog 3. Why don't I have a portable imasite? Probably because we make it upstairs. And the reason for that is... Uh, is why. How do we make, uh... Portable Emma site. That can happen on the ground. That can happen on the ground. What? Is there no reason that I'm making these exclusively in space? I mean, we do need the, um, the nitric acid, but still. Wait. Oh. That's fine. This is fine. Where could I get the nitric acid from? That's one other fluid I would have to deliver to the mall down here. Hmm. I wonder if I could schedule... Making this train that I'm riding deliver various things? As well as being a taxi? Anyway, there's our solar panels. And... Oh. Oh no, I forgot to... Uh, I don't suppose any of these trains are around. This one is. I'm going to copy its schedule. And then we'll just substitute. Depending on what's needed, it might be cheaper to bring the fluid up to space and make them up there. Uh, 
In this case, it's not. It's more just the mall is already kind of full. What were we up to? Catalog 3? Um, those look right. Wait till empty. Wait till full. This goes here. This goes here. And that should be everything. And then... I'm supposed to be using this blueprint. This will be catalog 4. To log four. Uh, wait till full, wait till empty. This goes here. This goes here. And that should be it. Uh, and then what? We just need the three bios, I think. Bio 1. Why can't I find... Oh, did I not do it yet? Oh, I didn't do it yet. Yeah, no, I've already added the trains for everything that we've got a, a thing here for. Uh, which makes me kind of not want to build this one right now. Actually, until I fa until I feel like spamming rod sixes. Right now, I just want to focus on. Ooh, we've already got seventeen and forty. Right now, I just want to get enough tier six modules to make. What do we need? 20? No. We need 8 times 5, 40 of each to make the material fabricators. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, technically I could do with half. We've already got 40 of these, and we're halfway to 40 speed 6 modules. Well, I guess by the time I make the, uh, I think everything's already in motion, like, we've already got the materials. By the time I make something to bring down the materials for uh, the productivity modules, we've probably already got a small stash of speeds and efficiencies, so we can make our our material fabricators already. So in that case... Please tell me I have a blueprint for this and I don't have to copy-paste edit. Uh, where is it? I need LTN to vanilla. That's it. That's it right there. Cool, cool, cool. And I th think I'll just... Put it over here. Right, no, I can put it here. That space is actually reserved for these things. I'd like to put the bio one, two, three close to this, because so much of this is all for the same purpose. So we'll go bio catalog one, bio catalog. And bio catalog three, that is going to be expensive. All right, scaffolding train is uh, wait, I guess. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. I, 
wonder if it'll sort itself out when it resets. Yeah, it should do. Well, there's no need to force it, I don't think. Please wait here for inactivity. And then construction train. Same thing. Wherefore art thou scaffolding train? I think that's it. I think I see it coming. There we go. And here comes construction train. Oh, I forgot. That's going to lower the UPS while I hold on to it for some reason. Just got to make sure we don't have the construction train runoff. There we go. Just in time. Alright, so... Crap. I should really update that blueprint. Let's do it now. Remove all this. Remove... all this. Grab our blueprint again. Melty to vanilla. wait a surprisingly long time and do it again because because we need to place the how did this oh I see okay so what I want to do here before we use this blueprint again whoops whoops and furthermore whoops is we'll take from this example not that part though not for the blueprint Okay, so I just want this to be a template. Question mark, requester. Wait, what? Oh, right. Oh, that's fine. And then this one. And this will be... That can just be blank. Okay. This goes here, 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 and here. Um, that looks fine, actually. This one. Make sure we get them all. And then I can't really select new contents for the blueprint because we've got bulk rail loaders. This is LTN2 vanilla. Oh, 
or is it in vanilla? What mod is the question mark icon from? I think it's K2. I'll check in a moment. Snap to grid 86251. And that should be it. Oh, with the space elevator icon. Evator? Does that not work with the soft search? There we go. Hmm. The capitals made all the difference. Alright, get out of here. Old version... And dump that over this one. What? Not that. No, no, no. Not a new space elevator. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be bio catalog one. We are going to request the bio, ca uh, bio catalog one. And we are going to provide bio catalog one. And again, I'm not going to use the train limit for these ones. For the pickups, that is. Uh, this will be bio catalog two. This will be Bio Catalog 3. Oh, now we just need to make the trains. The one I foolishly removed. Wait, what? No, not there. Wait. Oh. I put that in the wrong place. Coming through? <laughs> oh no. This, is this going to be the an owl of this channel? It is, isn't it? This is the an owl. Oh no. Alright, I need to update this schedule. For bio catalog one. Empty and full. And that should be it. I hope. Two more to go. Now that you said it, I mean, I don't think I had to say anything. Let's be honest. And bio catalog two. Wait for full, wait for empty. This is definitely a lot easier than making the schedule from scratch. And last but not least is Bio Catalog 3. Bio Catalog 3. There we go. Wait for full, wait for empty. And that, uh, don't forget the, I did put these in for the last one, did I not? Now I'm, now I'm not so sure. Okay. 
Catalog 2, it should have been. Yes, and yes. And Oh, no. Oh, I forgot to put the limiters on these. Oh, no. Good thing I'm going there in person. Good thing I am going there now. Wait, where am I? Oh, hidden behind this bulk rail loader. Okay, um... I guess just shove them in here. Wait, no, that's the wrong... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I think... I think that's all of them. Prob probably. Oh, great. <laughs> Apparently the construction train didn't have enough belt. And now I've moved those ones around. Okay. I think there's still... No, we're good. Should sort that one out, and then there we go. Looks like it prioritizes putting stuff in this space cargo wagon. At least we've got all these guys in one place to inspect their schedules. Alright. So they're all like 99% full. Let's just go down the spell elevator. Cavern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to go, no, indeed. Hello there to you too. Uh, I think I will make another depot stop over here. Hmm. Why are you not trying to drop it off on this side? You are trying to drop it off on this side. Oh, do we not have signals here? Well, there's a problem. Okay. Construction train... Hayaku onegaish mak schnell bitte. Raus, raus. Wunderbar. Oh, and we're back here already. I was going to get out when we got down here. Uh, it's kind of dancing around, but I think we got all of our catalogs. We have three types of bio and three types of material. Cool. And two types of energy. I see we have a single prod six. Very, very nice. Here's our comprehensive catalogs waiting for the day that we can make prod seven. Can we research that yet? Uh, we can. Oh, we need Vitalik Epoxy first. Oh, no. That's gonna get expensive. Uh, we can do it before the Biocat 4, though. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what about speed 9? Oh, speed 8, sorry. That's material pack 4. We don't have those right now. 
I already made 4.1k prod modules in SE.5, indeed. I could almost understand that German. Uh, the parts that were German, yes. Mach schnell basically means make haste. Bitter is please. Did we not put the signals here? Oh. Was the... Oh, the construction train didn't get here. That's why. Why are we not unloading... Core fragments. Oh, you're joking. Don't tell me it's got train limit one and some other train that's not physically here has, like, dibsed it. That is so dumb. Annoying. And this guy's got the same problem. Bloody hell. I hate vanilla train schedules and train limits and stuff. I need to go and patch every other... Um... every other drop-off like this as well. I'm just gonna pretend that we've already... that we've always got ten stone core fragments. At the very minimum. And I'm gonna output input count instead of just one for the train limit. If that sets a train limit of thousands, so be it. Well, I am German. Willkommen. I am German, indeed. Wait, who... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I see what you did there. I see how it is. Wow. I, I see how it is. Okay, then. That cleared up that block pretty quickly. Really quickly, actually. We probably need another one at... Uh, we can wait. Um, so now we have, how many, how many, how many, how many, 54, and almost 100, we got tier 6 modules, let's go. Time to make some fabricators. I would guess we have a lot of Germans in here, in the chat. Just... Is, is there something to that? Like, uh... Like, better engineering education or something? What, what's the... What's the correlation causation there? Where am I going, by the way? Wrong modules. I keep jumping to... The tier 1 to 3 module build. Maybe, indeed. Own Galaxy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, give me, give me 50 of these and 50 of these. Why not? And I'm pretty sure we have to make the fabricators in space. Sunday morning in Europe. Oops, caps, indeed. Sour Haggis, welcome in. You're on a Sunday and it's 1pm. Fair enough. Your base is nicely structured. Germans like structure. <laughs> indeed. And Italian? I don't think I know a single word of Italian. Unless you count bolognese. 
doop a doop. We can make front sevens now. Let's at least queue that up. Even if I'm not sure I want to spend all those bio threes yet. I don't know. Well, I would... Hmm. If I want to put the prod sevens in a select few things... Oh yeah, we don't have epoxy yet. But still, uh, if I want to put productivity sevens in a select... Uh, like, if I want to limit it and not make too many, just put it in the the labs, for example, then I think I'll just put a severe limit on it for the moment. But yeah, first we have to make epoxy. Epoxy is made on the ground. It is yet another thing that demands Vitalik Reagent, which is incredibly slow to make and incredibly expensive. Good grief. It's kind of insane how much Vitamelange we need. That's a good sight and sound, though. What's our rate been like lately? Extract is... Oh, it's, it's had a downturn. 2k per minute. Last 10 minutes, only 1.5k. Why is this? Probably because we stopped getting Vitamelange core fragments. Well, there's more coming in. There's a lot here, what the hell? What? I thought we had like three trains moving. We do have three trains moving Vitamelange core fragments. What? What you? What? What you? Really? I guess we need a fourth. Is this vit? It is. Blueprint. I said... Oh crap, I missed it. Ka Kafa Naisu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, what are we doing next? Oh yeah, yeah, that the whole thing with the... Uh, with the fabricators. I think they have to be made in giant machine. They do. Can we fit one here? We can. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward actually. Let's make ten of these things. And ten. Fantastic. I'll just drive over there. Obviously I'll want to fully automate these sooner or later. But for now the ingredients are more than a tad precious. We will take your structures? Don't take my structures. I love the universal simulation. It's so sushi. All right, here we go. How's our power going to look after this? A little bit spooky, but... Ooh! Ooh, ouchie. Uh, maybe... 
Maybe I should point one of those energy beams at the receiver over here already? Hmm. I saw satisfaction dip. That shouldn't be possible, should it? We've even got a bunch of accumulators. How can you be in control of all this? Uh, one little step at a time? Zalbi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I need magnetic canisters for this one. Uh, here though... Oh, we probably would have overshot our energy if those two were active. Uh, here though, we are indeed making... Matter synthesis data. Nice. And you can see from the healthy purple glow up there, we are in fact getting matter analysis data and matter liberation data, albeit slowly. That's fine. I'm not in a huge hurry for this stuff just yet, but it's nice to have it automated. We're not going to, like, build these blocks out until we have copious power. Uh, instead of a million condenser turbines, we're just going to have a few high-temp turbine generators around energy beam receivers. That'll be a lot more UPS friendly. Uh, but yeah, we've already lost a few hundred degrees from the energy beam receiver up here. I think... Well, how much power do we have to spare here? Very little, but I, I suspect we only need, like, a small amount to support this thing, so we can keep these beams going, perhaps. You're, you're joking, I don't have a beam... Oh, no. I didn't leave a beam emitter over here. Alright, fine. How's the cleansing of Nalvis going? Pretty well? It's still a very, very big job. Uh, but yeah, I'll borrow one of these. Hagen Orbit, please. And point it over here. And this thing is raising in temperature rapidly. We really don't need what is it, 16 gigawatt pointed at this thing? Actually, how much do we need? We've got... I think we just look at how many um, steam condenser turbines we've got. 3.36 gigawatt. And we're pointing like 16 at it. Alright, I think it's time for a little trip. As I noticed, my taxi is missing. Alright, please come and pick me up. Wait for passenger present. And then... Pretend you just came up the elevator. Perfect. Do those beam receivers have a neighbor bonus? Uh, no, I don't believe they do. Oh, I was going to check something. Uh, someone wanted to know which mod... Oh, the icons. Um, how can I check them? Like this? Yeah, 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 you can see there. They're from Crestorio 2. Cool, cool, cool. Back to the mall we go. I really don't want to try to go super fast 
making these modules. Um, wow, we're short on iridium plate? I did not see that coming. At least not yet. We did do an updated build for this, right? I just haven't implemented it yet. Okay. For the moment, I would like to... Uh, all of our spaceships burning their nuclear fuel. Lovely. Uh, for the moment, I would like to go to Calidus Orbit. And make a little separate beam emitter to support this power plant. I knew Veldak was waiting in the wings to type that. I knew it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're not having trouble emptying this thing. That's good. Away we go. Three minutes till we get to Calidus orbit. How are our spaceships doing? I don't see any lost in space. That's good. These guys are all moving. This guy's probably just waiting his turn to land. Fantastic. Alright, so after we fix... Well, not fix. After we add a beam emitter to Calidus. I could probably upgrade it slightly while I'm here as well. We've got 13k scaffolding to play with. How much is this? 14k? Figures. We'll see how much power that adds and I'll maybe extend these a little bit. I'll put another beam receiver up here. Energy beam transmitter, rather. What's going on? <laughs> and I said, hey. Alright, uh, where are we? One minute forty till we get there. Let me just go check if I... did in fact update... Iridium. I don't think I did. No, I think this is the wrong... Yeah, no, we did... Uh... We did blueprints for molten... Beryllium and Holmium. This is the one for Iridium ingots. But I don't think I've... Oh, here it is. Okay, so we got that blueprint. But there's some other intermediate steps before it. We need to drop off Blast Cake and Pyroflux. Now I'll have that stuck in my head for the rest of the day. <laughs> you're, you're the one who asked. Don't, don't pin this one on me. I wonder if... Okay, how... Okay, okay, okay. I could always remove, like, seven of these, uh... Laboratories. It's not like we're bottlenecked on the actual labs yet. So, bare minimum, I just need six, uh, prod sevens. Oh, right, we need the epoxy. I could give him prod six... Oh, we've already got 31. Uh, 48, right? 
Yeah, six eights. I could go and prod six all of the labs relatively soon. Of course, we are waiting for reagent for that, and everything is always waiting on reagent. You didn't have max prod module on labs? Uh, no, I only just added like four levels of prod module compared to what I had. All right. Give me that scaffolding again. But first... Where's the beam? Oh, I'm only bringing one beam emitter. It's fine. Oh, the bots are helpfully filling my inventory some more. Probably do want the accumulators, actually. Oh yeah, that's right, I made two extra matter fabs. This is fine, I guess. And... Rest goes in here. Okay, give me some scaff. Unless science is easy for you, it's a pain for me, so prod in lab so very good. Uh, yeah, I just hadn't gotten around to making the new, the higher tier prod modules yet. We've only had Bio 3 for a relatively short time. You'll probably remember I almost have enough scaffolding to cover all of this. Get in my belly. We're already getting kind of close. Laziness noises. When I saw that bioscience leads to prod module, I did it before the other sciences. I put off bioscience for ages. It's a pain. Besides which, the only resource that we can't move fast enough is Vitamelange. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, lots of bio one would give us mining productivity. Sure. Why not? Or I could wait until we have the prod modules before I trigger any more research. Oh, of course you left holes. Why wouldn't you? Actually, line it up with the solar panels. There we go. And then... And then... And then, I'm kept by my small erudite setup. Erudite's quite slow, yeah. Is that really all the solar panels I have here? I think something's wrong. Yeah, there's no solars in here. 
C uh, CFT, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's it? I guess so. May as well place those while we're here. And remove the rest of the ghosts while we're not here. Alright, how much did we get? We've got like 8 gigawatt to spare, that's enough. More than enough. In fact, it's like double what we need. To support our power plant. Alright, so all four of these are Scorching Nalvis, and this one is keeping our receiver warm. Cool, cool, cool. Why is it dropping temperature? Oh, because this thing's still, like, warming up? It's only not putting... I forgot the transmission efficiency. It might need everything we can give it right now. Which is exactly what I've already given it. Okay, so 6 gigawatt in, 50%, or 52%. The maximum that that uh, power plant can output is 3.3 gigawatt, but we're very clearly not using it all. So, temperature go up. Why is temperature no go up? It is going up. It's trending up, but it goes down on some ticks. Okay. Oh, well, that's all we need for now. That's fine. Give me this back. And back to Hagen orbit we go. Is slow, but also my moon with core erudite has a lot of biters, so I'm using a no biters moon. Fair enough. How's Nalvis at this point? It's getting there. It really is. There's actually really big chunks taken out of like, like this whole area almost goes all the way to the edge. Oh, we, yeah, we are getting there. Probably in the next couple of streams, we'll be able to declare Nalvis. Uh, hostiles extinct. Very good. All right. I kind of want to upgrade our erudite since I saw a shortage over here. Where do I want to put it? If this is looking for garters, this is looking for plate. Uh, neither of these are looking for erudite. I feel like actually just leaving, using this whole area for Iridite. Can we pick up 33,000 uranium in a reasonable amount of time so, so that I don't get spicy feelings when I fly over here? I didn't even see this one. Really lazy mine with beacon. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll need to give it some sulfuric acid, of course. I know biters, uh, biter hives spread. I've got it turned off. 
But do they spread only from hives, or can the worms trigger spread? Uh, no, you might have witnessed it occasionally. Um, basically, uh, it'll spawn a bunch of biters, or it'll take a bunch of existing biters and, like, give them a mission. Um, and they'll all travel together, and at some when they reach some destination... Like, basically, most of them turn into a new base. And then... Sulfuric acid. Where's our construction train? Right where I left it. missed one bit? What did I miss? So if I kill all the hives in an area, it shouldn't grow back. Pretty much. Even if there's some worms. Yes, yes. Worms don't do anything except for shoot at you. No, oh, that has more reach than I realized. Only pushing back to artillery range, so they will eventually come back. But they'll start from far away, yeah. You can actually see um, through the debug menu. Uh, wow, okay, that's a bit much. Let's turn that off for the moment. And how do I... F4 gives you the debug settings. And we want to always show expansion candidate chunks. And then if we look at the map, all those green... Uh, the, the green ones are where they're most likely to expand to. So they don't, they don't expand too far from an existing base. Now then, about this build. Let's get our construction train over here now. Uranium under the build? Oh. Oh, 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 I see it. Right. Okay. In that case, let's move the beacon over here. And then line this one up like so. And this can go here. And... Oh, one off. Vegas. Vegas. Let's do a smaller storage tank. I probably just want short trains dropping off here. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we're looking for so that should be a requester. Sulfuric acid. Uh, slightly more than a short train will deliver. Just use, just use short trains. And give it a name. Alright, and we'll need some signals over here. And I guess we don't really need these two. And 
and there's already a train on the way. Fantastic. We need some power. Go. Oh. There we go. Don't forget this one down here. And then... Um, I guess just bring this up here. Do we not have efficiency modules still? Oh no. Well, let's just check that this works at least. It does. Fantastic. Alright, why do we not have efficiency 3s still? I think it's just taking a long time to catch up to an entire wagon full. Uh, that's probably it, actually. Are we not requesting efficiency threes over here? How were we getting our efficiency threes in here? Was I literally just delivering all the tier three modules occasionally? Possible. Yeah, that's not entirely unlikely. I think we should automate it by now, though. Oh, I remember. They were being delivered straight to the construction train. But now this is the same... Uh, logistic network. Okay. Let's ask for... 10 stacks of each. See how that goes. Uh, that should be a negative, actually. And... That should be enough to trigger a delivery. What's the problem? Short trains only provide stack threshold 10. Uh, yes? Why are we not scheduling a delivery right now? For the tier 3 modules. Oops. Oh, is this it? That's Iridium. This is high priority as well. Request stack threshold 50. Uh, 2,500. It's kind of a lot, but whatever. Well, that's probably why I wasn't having it delivered to the mall. I could make a whole other station just to drop off modules. Hmm. It's only one cargo wagon. It's pro probably fine. Oops. Tata Gnome, thank you very much for the eight months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Much appreciated. Thank you again. Where should we be focusing right now? I kind of really want to update 
Iridium. Didn't I switch off these old blocks? Apparently not. Okay. Um, I think I'll put it here. Oh, good. Right where I... Right where I decided to put this track. Um, yes. That's not going to be difficult to fix up anyway. Let's just remove this for now. And we're going to need a bunch of spaceship floor. How much do we need for that blueprint? 2.3 thousand? I think I remember why I didn't build it straight away. I had to order a whole lot of spaceship floor to be built. Which apparently I haven't done yet. Hmm. How much can fit in... I think it's 2400. Yeah. I guess we can do another... Another inserter over here. Probably need to not dump all of it into that chest, actually. Okay. Look at these cute little green stack inserters. What is this? It's a shield. Why are we making another one all of a sudden? Is it because I like swapped the inserters? I guess? I don't even remember why I wanted a shield. Probably to put in the Spidertron, maybe? Or the car? The car was really disappointing. Like, even... Well, we get a lot fewer slots um, for the vehicle. Uh, for the car. Compared to... I forget the mod's name. Vehicle Equipment Grid, I think it's called. Vehicle Equipment Grid makes it very easy with, like, otherwise vanilla Factorio to put just some really basic solar panels and a shield in a car, and then, voila, it doesn't matter if it hits a tree. Also, you can make it go faster. The car really is for vanilla game, and it's an early item, yeah. No, but the, uh, the upgraded car using vehicle equipment grid, as opposed to K2's equipment grid, is actually quite enjoyable to drive. It's fast, it doesn't matter if you hit a tree. Very nice. Drive faster red, indeed. Uh, so why are we not getting flat solar panel 2s? Do I just need to request more over here? Or is something up? Why is this not full? Why do we have no f holmium? Okay, that that worries me a bit. That does worry me more than a bit, actually. Quite a lot, actually, because normally when I check on these, we've got insane amounts of ingots. Copper's fine, for example. Iron's fine. Iridium is fine. 
Fulmium is not so good. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, keep spamming the zone discovery until we're sure we've found all the planets. Now what options do we have already? For Holmium. We've got... We've got some big ones, but... In fact, they're all kind of big. But we don't have any that are close. Oh, Plato. Oh, I remember Plato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got so many biters. Holy crap. Perfect Bloom. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Uh, where is Plato again? In the Calmea system. Which... Oh, that's the same as Corsal and Strumhurst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only problem with Kalmea is the biters. Because it's closer than if we used um, Foenestra to get somewhere. Okay, uh, I think I think I really should be building an energy beaming system at Kalmea. That's going to take some time. But we've got the resources. Or at least... We did have the resources until Holmium became a problem. It, is it a problem... Okay, core fragments for, for Holmanite are absolutely saturated. So... I do need to be shifting the bottlenecks somewhere else first. Is this thing broken again? How? What? We fixed this. Or so I thought. Uh, can I get... Why is this... Why does this have two large storage tanks? Oh. That got imbalanced. Hmm. If I make this thing fantastic, if it takes out the large storage tanks unconditionally, it takes it from here first? Wait, what? They're already back in. How did that happen? Why are we... No, you should be putting it in this... Oh. Oh, it's this one that shouldn't have the large storage tanks. How did that happen? Oh, it got turned around. Well, there's your problem. Um... I'm just gonna... O okay. That's one way to do it. I'm, I'm just gonna... Add a little button here. To empty the train. That was one of the advantages of emptying the train every time it comes back. Um... It only, it only swaps direction if I send it out somewhere like here, because if I, if I send it somewhere like here, it can only go forward. So I don't think we have to worry about that too often. Could you please plague to clear Plut uh, Plato? I, eh, well, the thing is, Plague Rocket requires Bio 4. That's kind of a long way off, kind of. 
Whereas I could point beams at it and just sort of forget about it for a while. Like, once these beams are done with Nalvis? To be a little less efficient aimed at Plato. 63% compared to... Thirteen percent. Oh man. Uh, it's still clearing them pretty quickly. Yeah, it's still... That's still pretty good, actually. Maybe I'll just keep spamming infrastructure at... Uh, at our local orbit at Calidus. Okay. Oh yeah, construction. Okay. What were we going to build? All of this. Oh, that, that's right. I need a whole lot of spaceship floor. So that we can do the super smelters on the ground. How much, uh, how much have we got? 1.2k already. That's like halfway there. So we could at least build half of it. What are we needing? Aeroframe bulkhead, which is a uh, barrel. I don't think we're having barrel problems. We're definitely not having barrel problems. Cool, cool, cool. What did we find? We found a Vez, and we found an asteroid belt. A Vez is a faraway moon, so we don't care. How much have we made here? A decent amount. That one's already sort of... Holy crap, that's a lot of contaminated scrap that's not getting taken away. Uh, why are we not Fixing... Why not? Why are we not recycling contaminated scrap? Uh... Oh, well, there's your problem. That was easy. That one actually shouldn't have a limit. Oh, no, wait. That's not the problem at all. Um, our scrap train is confused. Is That's why? Wait, how are you not... Oh. Oh. I think we need more trains um, to take scrap downstairs. Yeah, that might be the problem. What is... Oh my god. It just keeps getting worse. Oh my goodness. It's fine. I think we just need another depot here. Actually. Where's our construction train? Oh yeah, we need to fix this as well. And... We'll just do this like so. doop a -doop, we found Osiris.
once more with feeling. Oh, and we need some efficiencies. Did we get those? We did. This is going to make the train turn around again. Oh, it's already got the reach, actually. Why are they not putting efficiency modules in? Probably because it's the wagon at the back. Okay. Park here. Wait for inactivity. And there it goes. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. We have... 1.3k spaceship floor. Yeah, normally we're not trying to make it in numbers like this. Let's make some up here. How's our power? Seems okay. Oh no, indeed. Could... Uh, okay. That That's a little bit faster. Whoop. In fact, the... The inserters... Oh, the bots can't keep up. I'll probably keep that for later. Alright, so now we're at... how much? 1.5k. Good, good, good. Very good. I didn't look at Osiris yet. It's too far away to care as a moon. I'd really, really like to build this before we finish today. Oh crap. Oh no. No, 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 no. It's already full. Uh, tell you what. Park over here instead. Dante Barracuda, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, of course there was another delivery waiting to drop off over here. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. These two are supposed to be connected anyway. Now, construction... Um, I think this one's going to be imbalanced again. No, it... No, it's okay, because it didn't change direction like before. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're going to need more than 50 speed modules when this thing's ready to go. Um, but yeah, we should be able to build that properly this time. 1.9k, we are getting close. And where was it? 2.3k is what we're looking for. Can I fit that in a cargo wagon? Probably not. Uh, let's see, 50 times 50. I think we know the answer to that. Oh, yeah, 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 no, that's... That's actually a larger number than... Than 2100, 2300, whatever it was. Cool. Very good. How about... Hmm. How about we involve these two as well? Or at least this one. We don't need any more wall right now. Put 
Probably the bots are already the bottleneck. Maybe. This will be good for the UPS. Getting a bunch of uh, space stuff. on the ground with the high, uh... What you want to call it? Instead of, like, uh... With a high crafting speed, instead of... Oh, we don't have speed modules in these ones. Instead of, for example, 192 machines? Uh, I believe we calculated that these... What was it? Four... Let, let me look at the blueprint. Oh wait, I think I still have it he over here. Yeah. So it was 13.056 iridium ingots per second compared to... It was 196 casters, right? the same tier of module. Oh, I can't do that here. Wait, what? Iridium ingot. Iridium ingot does benefit from productivity. Oops. Huh. We did the Iridium Ingot version first because it was going to be the hardest. The rest we can make a bit smaller. Although I guess at this point it's easier just to remove the pipes. Um. Weren't there other ingots or something that didn't benefit from rod modules? Was it... Was it making the molten stuff? No. Surely not. Yeah, no. Wait. Holmium ingot. You can't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's every... It's all the exotic ones except for... Iridium, I think. Let's see. Beryllium ingot. Well, we can select them over here. Ingot. Iron ingot. Is made in... Oh, wrong way around. It's made in a casting machine or a thermodynamics facility, which can't use prod modules, either of them. So because of that, I thought iridium ingots didn't have the opportunity to take advantage of prod modules. But they do. They can be made in industrial or advanced furnaces. Whoops, so this build was a waste. It was quite tricky to make as well. Make it all fit nicely and stuff. What a shame. Um, so iron ingot, check. Steel ingot, check. Copper ingot, check. Uh, beryllium ingot, check. And holmium ingot, check. No wonder I thought iridium ingots wouldn't allow productivity bonuses. Well, I'm glad we noticed this before building the bloody thing. I'm still gonna, like, use a whole bunch of spaceship floor to build 
uh, versions of this, but for, well, these five, actually. Everything that would go in a casting machine, uh, we're going to make a much more UPS-friendly and faster version of. But yeah, not Iridium ingots, as it turns out. Um, hmm. Well then. I guess I'll... I mean, I'll still build an Iridium ingot build here. God, is this already the Pyroflux? Hmm. I guess the first thing I'll do tomorrow, maybe, is redesign this. But, yeah. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Let's find someone to raid. Check, indeed. Only Ir Iridium has the Molten Step, so there is Prod on this step. Ah, that does make sense. What about Naquium? I, I should have checked before I saved. Let's have a look for someone to raid first, while that's happening. Who is playing Factorio? Terreno Spider? That's weird. Streamlabs doesn't recognize it. A valid cooldown amount must be specified. Add command raid Terreno Spider. Why is it talking about a cooldown? Hmm. Okay, um, who are we gonna... Oh my goodness. Beldak, thank you very much for the gifted sub. To Streamlabs. Oh. That works now. What the... I... I guess? <laughs> thank you, Beldak. Today I learned? Who should we raid? Rain... Or maybe JD plays. Are you guys looking for more SE? I imagine you're looking for more SE. Let's drop in on rain. Why not? And while that's cooking, uh, let me check on the iridium. Uh, not iridium, naquim. Naquim ingot. Uh, I think it can benefit from prod modules. So we're not going to be using uh, this one for that. Advanced Furnace. Naquium. Prod Modules. Yes. Okay. So Naquium Ingot and Iridium Ingot are the only ones that that step is going to have productivity bonus. You can have five lifetime subs for bots? You should ask for a lifetime sub for the Streamlabs. Oh, okay. Never heard of that. Alright, uh, before the raid timer runs out, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. can't because this this still needs to direct insert into both like this hey t-hacks how you doing we're in space i think i like this